Hey boys, good evening. Well, it's not Friday, but uh, I changed my mind regarding just having a one uh, sellout campaign this time. So I was walking uh, today and I was thinking about what to do for the sellout campaign, which faction, and I decided like one faction in uh, in this is not enough. I mean, look at this shit here. That is not enough. So I decided we do this thing I call the back and forth campaigns. I did say the first sell campaign is going to be a big sellout. Elish Desperate. And uh, we're going to be starting with a faction. And anybody who donates 100 can uh, immediately start another campaign. And the moment uh, the first campaign auto saves, we switch to that other campaign. If you have more than one active campaign, Anyone who donates 30 can uh, switch between any active campaigns. This will go on until the first uh, week of March. Where... Uh, when the first week of March ends, there will be no more new campaigns starting. So, quite a bit of time. But uh, switching back and forth will be available as long as any of these campaigns are active. Also... Uh, these campaigns will all have special available. All of them. Uh, so I would tell you to don't go crazy, but uh, you know, I don't care. Go crazy if you if you want. But you know, guys, uh, that word moderation, that's the motto of the red names. As moderation with something with moderation or no moderation in it. Obviously, since I get to pick the first campaign, I'll pick Beastman. Because, god damn... It seems perfect. Beastmen are shit for a sellout campaign, but for this type of sellout campaigns, I think it's ideal. So, uh, I would tell you to uh, don't start 20 campaigns, but for $2,000, I don't think I can complain. So, go crazy. This is probably just gonna be a nightmare just to create and cut all the campaigns and videos, but uh, depending on how much work there is, we're gonna have to uh, maybe make special videos out of this for YouTube purposes. Uh, depending on how this sellout goes, uh, there are goals, uh, starting with 1500 for uh, Volkmar Early Tomb Kings campaign. So we start Volkmar turn 10 Crisis with Tomb Kings next to him. Uh, for 3k there is a turn limited card campaign, which will probably have a copious amount of alcohol. Uh, 4500 goal is uh, the multiplayer stream, one multiplayer stream, either with viewers or with random people. And uh, 6k goal is a uh, SFO campaign from start to finish. These are the realistic goals. Uh, there is also some other options just in case we go above that. Because I don't know how, how long this is going to go. I expect for the next two weeks. Uh, there is a 10k for uh, Alien Isolation playthrough on Nightmare difficulty. I hope we get close to that but not complete it. There is a 15k goal for a Total War Attila campaign from start to finish. And there is a 20k goal for a Empire Total War campaign from start to finish. I hope we uh, don't get to 20k, but if we get to 20k, I guess uh, I'll be happy and uh, complain at the same time. So I guess it's a 50-50 uh, mix. Anyways, uh, the, that's it. These are the goals. Uh, depending how these goals go through, uh, we might be playing some other stuff this year, this year, but there will still be a plenty of Warhammer 3 alongside it. Uh, Total War Attila will be uh, the main campaign. Anyways, uh, the campaign I will pick will be Beastman, and uh, I will pick... Uh, huh. I will pick uh, Malgor. So we start with Malagor. Uh, special is available on all of these campaigns. Keep in mind that uh, some campaigns uh, the special doesn't do anything, and uh, you guys don't have to sabotage the campaign to uh, provide to you know go for the goals. You can just uh, see a new uh, lord on early game or switch to another campaign. Or just, you know, don't pick any of the options. 
I'll be tracking all this stuff uh, on, a, uh, on a pad file. So I'll pick Malagor. Uh, if anybody switches the campaign immediately, keep in mind we have to play until an autosave. Autosave, always until an autosave. Can you stop the switch campaigns at the same time? If you donate a hundred bucks, Marconos, uh, you can only switch a campaign. So it's towards switching a pain. You can't sabotage and switch at the same time for the same 100. So you can disband. Uh, is it disband hero? Uh, what is that one last options? Uh, betrayal. So if you uh, want to disband all the heroes of the chosen type, you can switch the campaign at the same time. So 100 to start a new campaign and 30 to switch between other campaigns is uh, separating. And like I said, uh, starting new campaigns only uh, active until uh, uh, 5th of March. After 5th of March, no new campaigns can be started. I do expect probably over 10 campaigns to be start. So we have to be realistic about this. If too many campaigns start, of course, you won't be able to finish them all. But I'll uh, do my best to finish several of them. Several of them, depending how they go. But uh, uh, I'll, I'll uh, be playing all them towards short campaign victory. 20 campaigns. You know, the moment I was writing this shit down, I was like, oh fuck, Shit Wizard is going to start 10 Gorse campaigns. And then I remember, you know, had to put, uh, you know, we can only start one Malagra campaign. No other Malagra campaign can be started. You can only switch to another Malagra campaign. So we can start 10 Malagra campaigns. Uh, that would be a nightmare to track everything. But you can start uh, uh, Kazakh, Malagor, uh, Morgur and Taurox, all, all of them. Oh my God. But not uh, two of them. Holy shit. So a little bit uh, bizarre and uh, weird stuff going on. Let's see how it goes. We might make this uh, uh, once a year thing. Thank you, Dr. Vector, for giving subs. Uh, I'm Expecting a long stream tonight, but I'm drinking, so who knows? Oh my who knows? God. Have you seen that shit? Holy shit! What the hell? People gonna want to play the boring campaigns? Well, uh, like I said, this is a crazy amount of campaigns. It's impossible to pick a just one campaign, and this is why I decided for this uh, special thing. I, I I don't think we can just do one cell campaign what anymore. The hell? For a campaign. For a campaign. You know, Marconos, we haven't even started a, a campaign. But we have to auto save first. But uh, thank you very much, Marconos. Uh, you got it. Torek is number two. So we got uh, Malagor and Torek right now. We have to play one turn of Malagor. Okay. Uh, so we'll be tracking this. Okay. Which ones are the boring ones? It's subjective, right, uh, King Roman? Uh, there are people who say that dwarves are the most boring shit. We had a lot of people back in Warhammer 2 and uh, towards the end of Warhammer 1 always complaining what the about. Hell? Fellow Dawi, a great wrong has befallen our kin. Uh -huh. What am I drinking tonight? I'm drinking scotch. Uh, hey, Tiny. Uh, I'm good, thanks. How's the weather? Uh, pfft. It's about to rain. There you go. Are you happy? Don't ask me for another month. So, what is uh, what, what are you doing, Serialty? We're starting two dwarf campaigns already. We haven't even started the business campaign, guys. Moderation, okay? Okay. We have, uh, you guys have like 10 days. 10 days to start new campaigns. <laughs> 10 days. <laughs> we have to play until an auto set before we start another one. Okay, so Malagor. Uh Sirolt is being Torgrim, okay. Oh boy. Aaron has a salt spite. No one likes watching Jesus man, boys. what the Keep fuck? <laughs> Dear bro, uh, you are a degenerate. Okay. So we got Malagor, Torek, Torgrim and Aranesa going. That is Yeah. So what's up with Malagor? Uh He's not Taurox, and that's all I'm going to say. But he has 50% uh, cheaper uh, uh, unlock of heroes and more campaign wound range. He does have very, really special uh, fun stuff that he can do in battles. 
but the only really thing that's special about the faction cheaper heroes and more campaign wound range higher recruit ranks for the brave shamans and gratitude shamans is a nice touch but it's just cheaper heroes and more campaign wound range it does not have any mechanics like tarox has as a lord malagor is uh, pretty cool especially now that he's flying uh, he has a special movement for the beast pets 50 percent more uh, range uh, he prevents enemy replenishment uh, and uh, makes everybody scared shitless. He's also a really fun wizard. So Malagor is my pick. Let's play one turn of Malagor. We do start in uh, the Badlands, close to uh, Scarborn, I think. Uh, settings for this, this will all be turned off. Uh, Hogwarts, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I'm not gonna think about if I'm gonna still playing it. I'm gonna do a message Debra about it. I don't mind playing it, but I don't want to play it for three weeks. Not really on my own, uh, as, as my own option. There's something there, but uh, I think I'd rather play something else uh, with my own time. I will, I'll think about it. There's definitely an option to continue playing that game. I'm uh uh you gonna guess you can ask me about the saves. So we have currently Malgor, Torek, Torgim and Ernessa. Okay, so this is thing still here. In return for the dread why they why they leave this? War. It feels like so off compared to other factions because they don't really have this explanation. This is where the CA put a little bit more effort than anywhere else uh, with the, with this beastman rework. Yeah. The dark gods have the means to permanently boost many aspects of the tribe. In return. A trove of items sits at the ruins. Oh, this hasn't really been changed, huh? But can be acquired should you. I wish. think they changed where they're all where they're positioned. To unlock uh, Taurox is 1200. Yeah, they, they haven't balanced this at all. The moment the game auto saves, we have to switch another campaign. That's the, the rule, uh, the rule Marconos with switching. Tactician, 2 in 1. So we got uh, one of the worst traits. Holy shit, this Gorbul model looks much, much better. And this background, damn. When did this happen? This Gorbul looks really good in Warhammer 3. Two in one. Within Karak uh, uh, War, uh, two souls. One a British monitor, the other a crafty brave shaman who once sought to dominate him. Damn! So they gave him, uh, gave uh, this guy some special stuff as well, and he has uh, 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 the plus five power. This uh, this background uh, really stands out. Looks like uh, huh. minus nine to minus five. It's like all debugged. Maybe it's this stack. Hey, Dagman, I just missed some of the explanations. Beastmen. Beastmen are so much fun since the rework. Damn, again, the, these models look way better. Way, way better. Holy shit. I haven't played Blixman in a long time. These models look way, way better. This was the first campaign DLC. Uh, it doesn't seem like much change. Uh, probably all the all the couple of bugs in there. 
I really dislike they gave this guy a unique trait, but his main trait uh, random rolls. This, uh, this is very interesting. Uh, so we're at war with Sires Morkane, which are the undead. And that's it. This is uh, looks like a decent area for uh, Braystone. We don't have to go perfectly, because uh, this is only just a short campaign planned. If I play Beastman uh, for a long campaign, I do have some mostly about this. So, uh, very straightforward. Very straightforward. We need to get Ruination level 6. And uh, they still haven't uh, fixed uh, the costs of this. I'm wondering if you still, when you unlock them, they, they do they get immediately... Uh, immediately uh, uh, confederated. This is a huge imbalance with this. These costs are way too low. And the way how the Beeson progress is uh, beyond ridiculous. I, I wonder if they change any of this in Warhammer 3. This one a lot of fun, but uh, they didn't balance them uh, well towards the end. They just forgot about this as well. Okay, there's nothing really to do here uh, except just attack this. And the game auto saved. Next campaign. So we have a Harbinger of Disaster. Guys, uh, we have 10 days, a little bit moderation, you know that. This is going to be chaos. I am Prince and Emperor. So the next campaign we are starting is Torek. Torek. More like OP Operic. OP Tor Tor I don't know. Torek is one of the most OP lords in the game, especially for the AI. I'm just telling the fate, Gal, it's going to be chaos. So, special things with old gold, runesmiths, cheaper upkeep on runesmiths. Uh, the old school gold scrap room minus 50% is pretty cool. Uh, starts 100 campaigns, 50% get entered back. Uh, depending how many campaigns is, I wonder if anybody, any of them is going to get uh, out of corruption, uh, the same corruption. Torek is really, really OP. In the player hands, in the air hands, his uh, defeat rate. This is one of the most, uh, what do they call it? You know the power creep? I'm not really uh, always the one of those people who just, you know, yell, screams power creep the moment the new things get released. But Torek creep, Torek is power creep incarnate. This, this faction is insane. This lord is insane. And air wise, I feel like air wise, every legend lord should, this should, every legend lord from the air should feel like, like you're fighting Torek. It actually feels like you're fighting somebody powerful. We got uh, Karak's on location. I hope they changed the landmark. Probably not. Uh, his whole army gets extra armor, extra uh, AP damage on, for melee units. And a better reload times immediately for a bolt thrower, grudge thrower, and quarreler. So, artillery uh, immediately gets better reload times, and this is without experience, battle skills, engineer, or technologist. In Warhammer 2, uh, his reload time is so overpowered that calculations calculate always decimal casualties. Uh, so, it doesn't count like 5, 10, 15 casualties, but it counts uh, 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 casualties. Uh, not sure if that was intended, but uh, the range stats on his army was so powerful that we just out resolve most battles with zero casualties. Let's go. So we have to do uh, out of save Torek. Uh, we have Malagor and Torek. This campaign can be switched back and forth, but. Uh, we can only switch back and forth after Ernesta starts. So Ernesta is currently the active campaign. In 
King Cazador's name, I will unearth the lost relics of our We're not doing any crisis settings. And bring glory to the crisis are turned off. Once more. I played a couple of Tory campaigns, if I'm not mistaken. One, one, one of them was uh, uh, the Total War style campaign. The runes are ready. Disciplined runesmith. And we have the old ways are the best. 10 armor, 3 AP. It actually almost makes me want to make a melee army for him. Yeah, first thing first, let's salvage the unique follower. Yeah, we start with the uh, five ancillaries, huh? I have the forge fires glowing. It's uh, nice. The uh, uh, Gorbul is, uh, you know, I'm not happy with him, but uh, you know, I'm happy with this. An accord bound by runic law. Mm, so we are only at war with Arachnos here. And victory is pretty straightforward. We forge at least five arcs via the forge. Well, that's not really short. It's not really short. So this is uh, definitely not short. It should be three. As you like. Okay. Next campaign. Now it's Torgrim. You guys. I didn't expect that we would have the we would had four campaigns already uh the moment we started Malagor. Torgrim. Damn, this is a much higher quality than I remember. Chance to receive additional random rewards for every grudge resolved. Random rewards, huh? When relations with dwarves, lower up on the long bills of hammers, recruit ranks for hammers, all commandments have more powerful effects. It's definitely got changed quite a bit since we played them last time. Lower effects, physical resistance for hammers in his army, guardian for hammers in his army, and a massive leadership aura size. It used to be just uh, this crap. Uh, you guys remember when I was speaking about how our Torgrim should be played these days? Probably uh, Torgrim should be going around with uh, two units of hammerers and s basically making the more, most decisive damage uh, on, on the battlefield, whatever, whatever it is on the battlefield. So a hammer flavor in the army with uh, making breach with the hammerers. Try to stake as much attack as possible on the hammerers and play like that. I'm going to play Beastman, yes, I'm going to cast a spells on Malagor. I have a feeling we never we're never gonna go back to that campaign. Oh my god. Hello, thanks. Have you seen that shit? Holy shit. So much for the beastman, huh? They bro waited for people to uh, start the two war campaigns, then he uh, made the Aranesa. God damn. <laughs> I didn't expect Aranesa tonight. Then again, we might have Ernesto or Carte, or Garf with some other stuff. On, brave, March on. March on! Okay. The High King acts. Valaya Engineer! Valaya Engineer! Nobody's gonna moon that guy in the army. The guild approves. <laughs> Damn, good call, FJK. I forgot to turn it off. Phew. Damn. By Gragni, this had better be good. Better wheels. Okay, and diplomacy here. <laughs> we have a Zubar. We don't stop ending with Zubar. What the. Huh. Huh, this is a quick deal. We have Barakwa diplomacy. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
detective. Yes. Uh, they don't really dislike the was Good RNG on these campaigns. Good RNG. Fellow Dowie! A great wrong has befallen our kin! By Earth things. The Damas Kron is filled with their starts with five atrocities. Cells. And the dead stands with us! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 factions so, in turn 1. Take up your axes! We know about the one. Groby, the might of Karazakarak! For they come! Depends how many campaign starts, it's uh, not realistic we can finish them all of them, but uh, we're still playing uh, towards short campaign victory. For the next, uh, uh, you know, depending what people want to see. The ones that are going to get focused are probably going to get finished, but uh, depends on the level of sabotage as well. I don't expect all these campaigns to be finished. Because, you know, people can still switch back and forth these campaigns. It is time! We need to defeat five uh, uh, Crooked Moon armies so we can get the Master of Spite. That's really nice. That's an easy one. Only five battles against Crooked Moon and get uh, Master of Spite. That's so good. I mean, they really give you easy access to this. I mean, look at this. You get Master of Spite with Crooked Moon, but Clan Mortis is 50 out gold. That's uh, pretty sweet. I mean, Master of Spite uh, Torgrim with two hammerers. That's a ridiculous damage in Battlefield. Onward. Oh, Torgrim, we'll be back later. So we currently have three campaigns in progress. In the name of Magnus. <laughs> Their bro has to had to troll here. I mean, I assume we would start some of these campaigns, but I assume it's going to be some lizard and shit, but not the uh, Aranesa. The Vampire Coast is ready to cast off. <sighs> yeah, I got some scotch here. It's probably my second least favorite campaign in the entire game. Look at that income from rating plus 20%. Income from saving plus 20%. Character order leadership plus 12. It actually helps the zombies uh, more than it helps uh, his uh, uh, human troops. This is without a doubt the worst legendary lord in the game. Without a doubt the most cringe one as well. And that's all I'm gonna say, let's go. Uh, all these campaigns are active uh, for a while, LS. We're not expecting to finish them all, but uh, some of them will be finished. Hopefully Beastman won. They know me in Norska. And they know me in Sarthosa. But I want the world to know my name and my deeds. Gunnery wide. A 
Tough gunnery white, huh? Huh. I wonder if uh, these abilities hit better in Warhammer 3. Some of these effects have been uh, vastly improved in Warhammer 3. I think uh, uh, his uh, bomb throw should be way more effective in Warhammer 3. Best thing about this faction is the location. I, I like the uh, this location here. The Tosa is still not an island though. And they made the volcanic I uh, isles an actual island. Attrition minus seven percent when under siege. God damn. Minus seven percent. I think they forgot a zero here. Should be like minus seventy. That song is very good. Uh the range of sea, I guess, is okay. Wanna get some growth. This place needs more growth. Salt Spy. The most important thing about uh, the early game of Vampire Coast is to get Mortars. This place starts with tier 3, so you can immediately get a Mortar building. Look at this. In 3 turns, you got Mortars. That's OP. That is OP. The first thing to do is you get rid of this shit here. This is trash. And you get a Mortar building. The, uh, uh, these buildings are still crap, man. What the hell? They could have at least added growth on them. 4,000 for this? What the hell? Let's get three and noose. I hang myself after a couple turns of this campaign. My ship. This faction got way more powerful because of uh, how they changed the race dead. The race dead is currently, without a doubt, the most overpowered thing in this game. And they start you with an uh, infantry building when you have this. Was the donation goal to only recruit Sartosa units? Well, uh, after turn 20, you can chat roar Sartosa units. Okay. Absolutely not. Montez Aconcia. Gunnery wise, talk pile. The moment we enter this, we enter his own control. Did we start with his own control? Yeah, I really like she does start with two deck gunners. That's really cool. Anything special here. She used to actually be an impressive uh, fighter at the start of Warhammer 2 uh, when she was a list. But uh, her attack animations were too effective and got nerfed immediately. Thanks, multiplayer. At least you were special uh, for a bit. Now it's just cringe. She's literally uh, uh, one of the squishiest, uh, you know, would-be fighters. Or 300 health, legend lord with 20 armor and a fighter, huh? She, do she doesn't have armor, she doesn't have missile resistance, and they give her only physical resistance. She doesn't have natural uh, character missile resistance. Like, this is a random guy. You see this fifth missile resistance? This is what every character should have. Oh my God. And for some reason, uh, her, same as the demons, uh, they don't have uh, these things. She gets it uh, on the mount, okay, so somebody uh, thought, you know, like, let's don't give her any armor, let's give her average health, and since uh, we, she has low armor, we give her physical resistance, but uh, we can give her both physical and missile resistance, so something has to go. So, imagine what happens when she gets shot by uh, 
uh, magical uh, missile attacks. There's actually some uh, really nice stats, but her, uh, her attack animations are so bad. Maybe she'll get less focused in uh, in uh, uh, Warhammer 3. This is uh, this is by far the worst Legend Lord in the game. By far the worst Legend Lord in the game. Yeah, we got our first battle here. This is a currently an active campaign. Uh, if anybody can donate thirty bucks and switch to a beastman campaign. I'm just saying we don't have to play our Nessa, guys. You sick bastard, dear bro. Could even could. You Alcohol and Ernesta don't go well together, man. Doesn't go well together. I don't think I, bother, I would complain much about Trog. Find me plunder. Okay. Find me plunder. Get rid of your cringe. I got uh, three new pistoliers. Put these guys on a high ground. They got only 23 speed. They should not really move much. Free company! Quickly! Take the ground! Moving! Moving! The guard most of them don't move. Crew, attend! They're shooting hand cannons pretty much. Company militia! Company militia. There was that always a line. Oh, and I haven't played the Empires in so long. We are ready. Yes, sir. They're setting uh, light horse into guns. This is uh, like a hard counter to guns. For the Emperor! Free company! A tempest comes! See how she deals with that knight. And these effects uh, seem way better in Warhammer 3. Not just uh, that they look way better, but they also uh, do way better. I'm not sure what they changed about it, but uh, they're way, way more impressive. Look at that. that, that is insane. This, this was uh, really good before, but now it's just crazy. She literally has six defense, she's getting smacked there. We serve. Show us the foe! Everybody stop firing. We need to kill uh, him because uh, he's probably gonna try to disengage here. 
Uh, this this is way more effective. Like uh, the stats are the same, but how the projectiles get registered is way way stronger in uh, in Warhammer 3. I think this has some something to do with uh, I don't know collision of projectiles or something like that. If that makes sense. Same like uh, why some spells are way more effective in Warhammer 3. And apparently this was intended. Bombers are slow and have a low range, but the projectiles have always been good. But they're even better than Warhammer 3. There's just way too many projectiles when they fire. And each one of them explode. So this crap is still in the game. This is so bad. Why they haven't changed this one yet? And this is, doesn't affect Singlantia. You know? An explosive is something there as well. Uh, so what do we have here? Talia now has uh, Reef Rafa. Reef Rafa, which makes it richer. Shame not a port. Ready the swordfish. Aranesta salt spiked. Mm. This faction has actually one of the better be uh, campaign skills in the game. So, no immortal horror. I'm uh, kind of like it. It's more horrors unique to vampire counts. What the hell? They kept 50% here? Every faction is like 9. This faction, like, leave it at 15. It's supposed to be 9. Damn, even better campaign skills. This faction has one best campaign skills. Oh hey, sir, thanks. God. Have you seen that shit? Holy shit. The queen of time. I think we go for enchant ballistics here. We do have two uh, day gunners. We need to get more lords. This kind of sucks now, cause uh, we might be forced to use a regular lord. Thousand for the actual lords. The legend admirals should be the standard admirals. We need 2,000 infamy, huh? We are currently at 246. And damn! Maybe we get loyalty events. I wasn't thinking from that perspective. We got a Vampire Fleet Admiral A and Vampire Fleet Admiral B. There might be some benefits from triggering the loyalty events, right? I never really thought about this, because, uh, you know, now that the, the Dark Elves have actually lost something, and the Skaven always had this good, I think the loyalty events uh, is actually a good thing. I'm not talking about free fights, I'm talking about uh, the loyalty events actually providing faction-wide uh, effects which lead to snowballing. We do have to recruit a lord on turn 1, it's like, it's... This is Warhammer 3, we need a lord on turn 1. Lore of the... Hmm. 
I'm going to lower room one one because uh, you, you, we need more guys. Uh, more lords on the campaign map, more movement, more options, more experience, more items, more gold. Let's go with Lord of the Deep, just, you know, flavor-wise. Landerer gives me uh, brain damage. Getting lost from recruiting and fighting other pirate lords in battle. Extra loyalty to gain following a battle. These guys are with halberds, right? These rings, are, these traits are so bad. All bones on death. What is your demand? Okay. Uh. Why does why don't we have this uh, bar with the the dark elves? What what the hell, CA? Eh? Both any loyalty faction should have this bar. So what do we get here? Uh, port gives us access to Satosri Company, Satosri Militia. And this one gives us access to Vampires. And Man-Eaters. I don't know if whatever was there in Warhammer 2. I, I uh, literally recruiting a regular Lord of this faction caused me uh, emotional distress. So I didn't do it. We have to do it in Warhammer 3, cause we, we, we cannot wait until this. In Warhammer 2 we can. In Warhammer 3 we can't. Sartosa's most infamous. Damn, we are all the out of money. Yes, master. Find treasure! This is kind of ridiculous. We can just get handguns immediately. Click. This is just ridiculous. You know what was even more ridiculous? This used to be 160 of them. We yeah, don't have the enchanted ballistics yet. We'll put these guys on high ground. Whatever we fire at will, because there's a bug with the uh, with line of fire. I don't recommend using these units at all uh, in the current state of the game. What do you if you're gonna use them, you have to bleed them at fire at will. Free company! Show us the foe! This is kind of silly, man. Look at our army. And Arnesa is missing uh, 1,200 health. At least they, fixed, they could have fixed that at least. All right. With the replenish, I mean. We're getting mortars, but uh, in a few turns.
Hey Gary, reminds me of uh, one guy that works at McDonald's at the, uh, the main uh, train station. Ah, he could uh, throw ulti for sure, yeah, but I was just rushing it. The finish all campaigns, depending on how many campaigns we start, but uh, probably we're gonna just finish a couple of them. I'm not playing Yellow Isolation VR. Get the hell out of here. Always grow. Cops kill. What the hell? Dretch, Crave, and Tail. Give the people options to switch between people oh, happy. No oh, thank you much, you dick, bro. You pick all the best campaigns. Thought we were friends. Losing action! Free company militia! Not my shooter! Brace yourselves! Free company! Dog out! Free company! Militia! This was the actually the wrong one. This was not the one that we used last time. to live uh, so Tritch is next Well, the thing is, uh, people can start way too many campaigns, and we can't possibly play all at the same time, because, you know, they're going to be switching around. There's still plenty of times to play uh, uh, a lot of these campaigns in the other game. But there's too many campaign stars, it's impossible to just finish them all. So which campaigns get most attention, they're probably going to be the ones that get finished. I'm actually going to occupy this one for now. I claim it for the sea, Father! Get the uh, treasure mechanic with this faction. Game just auto saved. Empire's so, what is the bro said there? Uh, Trecha. Trecha isn't that bad, more hammer tree. Right, 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 right. No. Squirt musk of bravery. Starts with a unit of death runners. Uh, used to be my favorite skaven unit. A unit of stormwind and sovereign shield as a doom wheel. I did uh, um, uh, change his stuff a bit. Scurry away has improved effect and grants a minor ward save while active. So I got ward save. Gain following for 3 turns uh, after declaring war. Ambush the chance between 5 all armies. Vanguard deployment all units. Mezzo plus 1 all arm. Uh, miss and when we force time plus 10%. For 3 turns after declaring war. Ah. So more women having courage. Which is a small leadership buff to uh, units around them. Additional plus 1 armor and base weapon damage per unit experience for all clan rats and stone women. I guess that's I guess that's cool. Get the uh, stormwind can get up to additional nine armor and nine base weapon damage. It's actually pretty cool for stormwind. I didn't even see this one. Don't remember this one. Stormwind 
Stormworm giving additional 9 damage and 9 armor. Attribute Devastating Flanker, all units in the army. Uh, melee attack plus 7 during ambushes, melee attack plus 7 when retreating uh, after uh, when attacked. So only uh, when retreating uh, when attacked. But uh, yeah, this is nothing compared to uh, scaring little mechanics like Clan Molder or Clan Nation or Clan uh, Scryer. He also starts now uh, in his place. Uh, his actual place that didn't used to exist when he was released. I, uh, to be honest, I missed uh, Skaven. How the hell did we get a year without playing Skaven? Did we play Skaven Warhammer 3? I don't think we did. I'm playing for one hour, and this is already a uh, fifth campaign. This is gonna be a, just a mumbo jumbo jibber jabber mumble of campaigns in a video. Probably even gonna separate the videos. Probably just called back and forth campaigns, all marked as one campaign. I ain't doing that, chieftain of the deep warrens. I did not expect five campaigns already, guys. I did not expect this, but uh, you know, when you have all the people around expect the unexpectable. I honestly I still expected to play Beastman one hour in, but, but that would be too good, right? Stormworm with more charge. I make a basic prepare for, well, uh, like I said, we won't be able to finish them all, but uh, as, as many as we have, we can't play all this at the same time, so there will only so much we can play, because one campaign can be only active at a time, right? There is def de we are definitely going to have every single faction started, but uh, I'm expecting about 12 to 16 campaigns at this point, since this is only day one. So really fast stone vermin and additional missile resistance. And he has uh, a rampage here. And Chikanic still 30%. Seventy defense on rank one. Does it have unique techs? Uh, doesn't look like it. Only Clanish has a unique tech. What the hell? Aranessa. Okay, King Roman switched to Renessa. Thank you, King Roman. King Roman is probably having a laugh right now. Just thinking about it, I'm having a laugh too. Damn, he actually has a very good starting landmark. Five hundred income and three food. Uh, start a new campaign is a hundred. To switch between campaigns, any of the active campaigns is thirty. Perceptive assassin, nice. I don't usually use them in the armies. Many, many What's the situation here? Only at war with the moon hovelers. We only see four factions here. I guess Imrik is the only problem here. 
chieftain of the deep world. Okay, let's go back to Renesa. The real campaign tonight, right? You happy with your clan to start uh, there, bro? Didn't last. Oh, nice campaign you got here. Shame someone changed the channel. Okay, here we are back in the real campaign, boys. The real program is back. Hi, King Thorgrim Grudge Bearer Dwarf PLS1. Okay, we didn't auto save though. But actually, it's all the auto saved. God damn. Okay, at least give me a turn here, man. We are still on turn one. Okay. Beastman, anybody? Nobody likes Beastman, guys. I thought there'd be more Beastman fans out there. Fellow Dewey! A great wrong has befallen our kin! By Earth. Things. The Damas Kron is filled with their vile atrocities. Okay, first battle, let's and go. The deck stands with them. So, my kin, take up your axes. Show these Urks and Grobe the might of Karazakarak. Look at that portrait, that's the best board in the game. Bomber, every grudge. This is my edict as my king. We will revolt these vile creatures with our dying breath and renew the Karazhan core. Nothing could stop us. Very well. Tell me the Jar of Bomber is better, uh, better out of these days. Vinskin's a wise buck, so they're not gonna be a challenge in Mela. Yeah, one defense against Hammers. It's tough. Hammers have become crazy, uh, especially for, uh, for Thorgrim. Some of you must have missed my talk about how to play uh, this guy these days. But uh, uh, it's definitely... Uh, as the core of the damage with uh, with uh, two hammers and Torgrim. I has been bugged for a year. Orcs everywhere? What is this everywhere? Now, Grobit! 
The main game Jara still sucks, but there's 11 bombs. I, I, I still don't think it's worth the slot in the army. Look at this guys, 8200 held on rank 1, 125 armor, 15 physical resist, and 50 missile resist. Arnesa who? Sisters of Twilight. Hey Askel, will they take a match? Like what the fuck were they thinking? Look at this shit. Look at this shit. And they can't even give demons or Arnesa the 50 missile resist. This is some of the most insane stats in the game. They just got on crazy over the years. Who do we play next? Sister of Twilight? Sisters of Twilight. Yeah, Arnesa uh, has 60-60 and he has 62. See the rebirth in the first battle? Nice. Let's see if these guys get destroyed immediately. I uh, like this drink to victory. They actually got destroyed middle this time, so not more three battles. Retake the oh, we have two battles, so not three anymore. Okay, I'll just save. Sigma's will. Good elves. Lord of the, uh, the uh, gunship. The sanctity of life, the thrill of bloodshed. Fortress of Diet, we haven't played them since they uh, changed the Fortress of Diet. 10% initiative to all armies and uh, all Hawk Riders get a volley, a volley of Coronas, which is really OP. But uh, their army have uh, cheaper missile and flying units. I mean, they're basically going to be all uh, gunships, right? Way faster, I... I'm doing my best. Nothing uh, really special here. It's just uh, strong flavor. You're having too much fun. Back to the Viagra commercials, Aranessa. Viagra commercials. Uh, you got a, a video for a Viagra commercials. I never seen a Viagra commercial. Expecting like hot blonde girls. You see, guys, this is why we won't be able to finish all these campaigns, but at least some of them will get focus. Must not watch TV at 3 a.m. King Roman reminds me of this one guy that uh, wanted to watch this uh, boring ass drama about some kind of writer guy that smoked too much. Because we rented like four video cassettes. Four. Two were horror movies, one was Mortal Kombat, and the fourth one was this boring ass drama. And uh, we had to suffer until we get the good stuff. The Twilight Sisters, ready for anything.
Okay. Well. Serene Nestor. Tempestuous Arahan. FUS speaks. Is this a lot of life? A lot of beasts. And this used to be such a such a strong uh, uh, trait. Such a strong trait. At least she provides scouting. War, grant me gifts. We're at war with the, the dark elves here. This is uh, uh, such a uh, fast campaign compared to Torek, for example. Okay, what are we playing uh, now? Uh, we're playing uh, Arnesa. If we do 20k, what is Elish gonna do? Uh, probably be drunk for like a month and gain a bunch of hookers and blow. Is that what they say? See guys, uh, you see what's going on here? Everybody's favorite campaign is Renesa Soul Spite. I need to get some more alcohol, guys. Uh, let's make a short break here. Be right back. It's my nephew's uh, birthday today and we got uh, some cake in the house and I'm having two slices of cheesecake the other option is chocolate cake but if you have to pick between chocolate cake and cheesecake I think choc cheesecake wins well uh, Marconos we can't do deep dice with this system right it would uh, take forever so we don't go in depth uh, with this stuff. You know, for for obvious reasons. My ship. Did something happen while I was away, or we are still here on this campaign? Yeah. Deep diver Nessa. <laughs> So we have currently active uh, beastmen. Pick this one. Pick this one. This campaign, Torek, Torgrim, Renessa, Pan Rectus, and Seas of Twilight. You guys can switch between any of these campaigns. Just don't pick Renessa and pick either beastmen or one of the dwarves, or even the wood elves. Just not Renessa. This is you know option. We don't have to play this. God damn it, man. Every time she says I have to drink. Dear bro, why? Okay. She's so cringe, man. What is the option to mute the legend lord? So cringe. What the hell? Thorgrim, then back to Aranessa. I have no words. Thanks for the money, I guess. The tides! Find treasure! They, they left 15% up reduction here. This used to be 15, now it's 6, so we have to pick it now. Sheen Wizard is a hater. It's, it's simple. So... <laughs> Shit wizard, do we have to load Torgman back Arnesa or can we just stay on Arnesa? I'm just checking here. 
Okay. God damn. It's a it's a cello stream, guys. Bear with me. I with my uh, cheesecake here. This cheesecake is still good. This cheese is cold, but not too cold. What the hell? Master Monday. Ipe uh, wants us to start Master Monday. Thank you very much, Ipe. Will do. You know, guys, to be honest with you, I, I thought we would still be playing Beastman for a bit. I guess I guess this is what I hold, but uh, can you play to all this money I, either? Sell the pen after all. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want to say anything about the Lizard right now, because you guys, you know, love when uh, I'm triggered, but... Uh, yeah, I'm really, really unhappy with the Lizard right now. I mean, I've been unhappy with the Lizardman for years, but Empire's in Warhammer 3, year later... <laughs> Look at that! Diplomatic relations minus 10 with all factions. Cheaper construction on the Star Chamber, right cost minus 30%. These are faction effects. Can you believe it? These are faction effects. 30% cheaper rights. At least uh, his Lord effect got improved. You guys remember when his Lord effect was 50% uh, cheaper up for Temple Guards and nothing else? For years! Okay. Six more months till our ascension is complete. This command is gonna get out of uh, out of hand. I mean, it's been only one hour, thirty-three minutes. We all decided what six campaigns, seven campaigns. You know what we're missing, guys? We're missing Gorst. I would love to play some Gorst. But uh, don't switch from Gorst. Oh, this is actually looking pretty good here in Warhammer 3. They actually put the whole uh, thing in the in the screen. Targeting range was for all spells, and we do get more power immediately. He's a very chunky uh, body, but the uh, Lord of Pertiosis can only do so much in rank one. He's like a really shitty high king on rank one. I'm not clicking that top manager. There's a bonus here. Uh, the same point pasta. And pretty straightforward uh, short victory. Cricket. Weapon Master Saurus Car Veteran. Damn. At least if we start enough campaigns, a couple of the heroes will actually be good. And this faction is at war with ke Keepers of Bliss and Skeggy. Two enemies. Everybody's at war with only one faction, he's at war with two. I'm waiting. Welcome, Cold Blood, to the court of the Asurp. Nice. It shall be done. Is this still three random lines? Three r uh, lines. 
There are three lines and it's like 306 degree. And look at this. 30% AP. God damn, because 4% will be OP. It's random and only 30% it's AP. Now we can actually see this under the hood and we can see how, how really bad it is. At least this is a little bit better. There was actually a YouTuber, a big one, uh, said that the Lord Master the Moon is one of the most powerful lords in the campaign. I died inside when I was uh, watching his list. You can probably find that video still on YouTube. So, Fallen Gates first target, Mako Pick second target. <clears throat> There's like three Warhammer YouTubers, get them, King Roman, at least 13 of them. You had to say it two out of four, why? Why do you have to say this? Like, I, I hope nobody would uh, mention it, but yeah. Look at the top bar. Coin, coin per turn, nothing else. Look at that, that's Lizardman right now. Minimal UI. More minimal than the Skyrim in the Yellow Scroll Skyrim. At least we take damage, some bars appear here uh, and there. Skyrim. Oh my god. Did you see that shit? Holy shit. What the hell? Damn, I miss these purple units. Got a Croxigor, a Revivification Crystal, Temple Guards. Revivification Crystal looks really good. 10% with Resurrect, and you can use it 7 times. He's a Spellcaster. What the hell? Throg, then back to Aranaza. Come on, shit wizard. Uh, let us do at least do a battle here. Okay. Now, I didn't really expect this trolling, but at least it's a uh, chink chink money. In the name of Magnus. <sighs> Control plus one, local prawns. I'm not playing fast enough. But I, I, we need to uh, chat here, you know, and, and talk stuff. It doesn't always auto save when you start a campaign. Twisted army! You all follow that troll king! And you know that where that troll king goes, death follows! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven campaigns. You see there's no drug out to save. I eat my enemies! And Gauzy dot up. 
Hopefully, don't play this campaign. Let's get out of this campaign while we fast. Okay. At this at this stage, uh, we, uh, we are not getting to turn twenty nine of these campaigns. I feel. Replenishment here. There's a uh, thing here, huh? Great horde. I'm no mermaid. You might be right. Still seems off. Fear the pirate queen. Yeah, that's that Keep is definitely back. off. I don't think that was intended like that. Get going. Scales and salt. Bones on yeah, we'll get more risk here, but uh, she'll keep pushing on uh, these guys. Salt spiked. We get the money for uh, building something here. The tides. Uh, the growth is currently plus ten from technologies. What? Sardosa's most infamous. Growth plus ten from technologies. What technologies? Ready to swordfish. It's uh, ten from buildings. I just uh, put it in the wrong category here. Don't want any of these buildings here, but uh, we have to decide between. Uh, I think the gold is fine here. I saw. I guess it's a no-brain campaign moment here. Oh, we actually started with expopulation. Now this is just too good. Okay, we have to take that. This one is fine as well. We have uh, 433 infamy on turn 1. And we need what? Uh, 2000 to get the proper lords. This is 11 turns. Hmm. I don't know how this is gonna go in six turns, but uh, uh, let's get for sheep carpenter first. What the hell, sisters? Okay. Crew, well, uh, we uh, need to all get down to seven right now. Cause things have happened this turn. Switching to sisters. Oh boy, we're gonna have to click this so many times. Yeah, turn two, boys. We do have do uh, two turns here. Pirate 
Okay, out of save. Sister Twilight. Thank you, Askel. We definitely don't want to play Aranesa here. Okay, we got a bell here. <laughs> We're gonna get rich. Rich with what? One thousand bucks? That's rich. Croatia is not a terrible country. Let's go fight here. Askel, what, what, what is wrong with you, man? Did, didn't you request uh, this campaign? Pay a hundred bucks? It wasn't him. I'm gonna go check. Askel, don't let third. Uh, sister trial, yeah, it was him. And now he switched. That's the agent of Zinch, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we gotta do this battle, then we switch. Sisters of Twilight! Deep word cavalry! He requests this campaign, he switches this campaign, and then he switches back. Your orders! With me, sister! Look at this! This is fucking turn one! Look at this shit! What the fuck is this? Who needs wizards? Eternal God! Bloody battle! For the eternal realms! This is the most one of the most ridiculous starting shit in the game. What the hell is that laugh? I don't remember that mad laugh. I mean, this is definitely something else guys we have uh, started and played so many stuff already in this short time like uh, it's never happened something like this before right Harmony, there's definitely something else Men are fun. Let's change the channel back to them. People happy. So we're going back to Aranesa, then back to Beastmen. Thank you, bro. This is what I wanted to play tonight, Mal Malagor.
the hell? Sisters for real this time. This cheesecake is so good. Harmony must be imposed. <laughs> okay, okay. We have to go back. Ask a requested Arnesa. But this is definitely not gonna be all cut into separate uh, campaign videos for YouTube. Fuck it, man. This is just gonna be our. True spice of campaigns, uh, stew. That's stew word for stew. You get all of it, all of it in one video. Mishmash. And then we go to Beastman. How to save his kid immediately because we did nothing. It's almost like we are play testing the game here, guys. We are actually uh, an overpaid playtester here. That's how they test the game. They start 20 campaigns, they play 1-2 turns, they get big money and they move on. Probably they don't get any big money. What the hell? Salu said. Uh, there's no Salucids in this campaign, uh, Shit Wizard. We're on game. Thanks, uh, thanks for your money. Uh, we're going to what now? Beastman back to sisters. Okay. If I tell my brother that I made uh, eleven hundred uh, minus the you know like fees and stuff. In uh, two hours, he probably be depressed. What the hell? After sisters, Aranessa. Victor Aranessa. Okay, okay. Uh, you, you see, people like the Aranessa the most. Gameplay, this is you for the stream. I said I hear Beastman is fun. I want my flying goats. Okay, Way back to Beastman. Okay. Okay, guys, let's play a turn here. Let's play a turn. Okay, one turn of Beastman. I feel like the chat likes to likes to throw more nanting in these campaigns. But the auto save is all the great Marconos. We did nothing. Cause nothing happened. It, the switch is happened immediately. Okay. We're on Beastman right now. I lost track. It's Beastman now right now. We can play this, right? What else is the I'm using? I'm um, using one of those uh, expensive uh, Samsung ones. The, the, the M2 do drive. Go back to Trog. Uh, you're using your 100 uh, minus 30 to Trog, uh, Bashir Wizard. Give the change. Okay. Yeah, we did just uh, reload it back and forth, back and forth. If nothing happens when the switch happens, the auto save is already there, so we just switch. If we, if we did something and switch happens, we have to wait for the auto save. Okay. 
Okay. They got a giant. Didn't you check invis- Sisters, for Oskel. Guys, a little bit moderation here, a little bit. Now this is bug testing. <laughs> okay. The sisters of Twilight. <laughs> we got an S on turn two. Look at this, three skill points in one, 30% battle loot, and more stuff. We do need a little bit more money with this faction. What the hell? Throg for Shi'i Twizzard PLS. Should have clicked the button there. God damn. Okay, I'm clicking, I'm clicking combat immediately the moment this loads. Thanks, Alan. Let's play. Hey, for Shadow. How are you? <laughs> Eight thousand eight health, a big monster, hammer infantry. <sighs> Definitely not even close to hiking. We start with the uh, uh, Masha Musha here with the miasma. The dark gods command me. Casual 20% more damage. Oh my god. Have you seen that shit? Yes. Holy shit. Thanks, Barossa. Awesome. Uh, do you see the new Lord Rings decks coming to magic? What do you think I'm doing this sellout stream? You gotta save money for uh, that overpriced set. Ready to rabbit. Hey, Sam. Got a giant with 700 weapon strength, but Trog has uh, 2800 large. Just a sec. Gimli okay. better be OP. I, I have this fear they're gonna fuck up Gimli. And Legolas is gonna be OP and Gimli gonna suck. I like the idea of Gimli being the, the strongest one or one of them. But it's gonna be probably some just some random card. Gimli will be comic relief. I'm talking about playability and what it does. I saw this as starter decks uh, with the set. John is on the move. Yes, Chieftain. Yes, Lord. And this one to be on the trolls. Quell. Chaos Marauders. Chaos Marauders. Oh, my God. 
These guys do well against trolls, we need to just put a little bit more pressure. Uh, these campaigns are most likely not going to get finished. The ones that get the most attention uh, might get finished. Headed for logic. We're talking about, we're talking about uh, Magic the Gathering, the Lord Ring set. It's happening this year. Uh, universe is beyond. Yeah, it's, it's coming this year. I think this is their leader. Guys are having too much pressure. So Trog is getting murdered by the troll. The giant. I think he's stuck. Damn, he got smacked. The new giants are uh, definitely spooky. They just have to bow them like what five times. I can still regenerate most of his health. Just throw after all. I mean, the giant lost over half the hell there. Rogue is actually uh, very strong, but the giant on the base uh, against the base for rank 1 lord is too much. Look at that, over 12,000 health with 700 weapons tank, that's a lot. And with that attack, it's pretty consistent, the damage. Uh, this is uh, I, I'm not sure if you should be chiding on the giant. I was used for explosions there. Yeah, the giants have 65 attack. Oh, we haven't tried this thing in Warhammer 3 on a single target. Yeah, the, the giant is uh, crazy in 1 1 these days. That's uh, shit against one target. Strong versus single unit. Doesn't mean single land, it means like a single unit of marauders. I think this is the leader of the uh, these guys. Yeah, the, uh, the ice look way better than Warhammer 3. Uh, on the campaign map, no, no. The regeneration doesn't do anything on the campaign map. Regeneration only works in battles. A little bit more hell there. I do wanna uh, kill him? What the hell? We need a new load screen, Kairos. Kairos, okay. We'll do. It. Thanks, Victor. El Zinch enters the the fray.
This is the uh, the attention span of your uh, usual Total War player. Half a turn, half a turn campaign. So she just like be playing half a turn every day. So we got uh, Zinch now as well. Mm, we just need Cookies now to come to the stream and say that his battle skills are still bugged. Good thing I have uh, plenty of scotch. What? This is, they only have one option here. Let's eat them. I eat my enemies. Where? Where's the replenishment option? Okay, out of save happened. And we can uh, confederate. it. I don't think we created auto save there though. And yeah, the starting army doesn't survive. If we reload the game, we might not be uh, uh, having them confederated, so we have to play the turn. the hell? It's three tier supports and they do crazy money? What the fuck? The hell? What is this? It's, uh, we're not going broke uh, without starting army. That was my idea. And we get plus sixty percent income from ports from uh, Champion of Serpent. Hail of Teeth. The uh, battle skill for trolls. Start with a replenishment guy immediately. Hail of Teeth. When can we get other trolls? Uh, they're both on tier 3. Like, what the hell? That doesn't require a building anymore. Get uh, some of this growth here. Go towards uh, these guys here. Beamer and skills or iron for truck chest something different. Different what? Is this a skin wolf? Or a female bale fiend? What is this, guys? This is a troll, right? 
It looks like uh, that model looks way shittier than those uh, basement models. Imagine, uh, imagine your faction effect being minus 20% upkeep for the trolls and minus plus 15% physical resistance for the trolls, which is kind of not nothing for these units, and then using something else. If this also worked for the other ones, maybe. Moving. These guys have higher base damage than monitors. And they do regenerate. Berserkers are on tier 2, but the, uh, the Norse can... Uh, Norse can uh, trolls are tier 3. That is strange. Very strange. Purple smirk spew speed. Exalted get unclean one. We get a great, exalted, great, unclean one uh, with this. They seem to all buff income from ports. We can even spend fifth ranks on this guy. Some more damage to trolls. Another one monster hunts. It looks like we're starting Kairos after uh, after this turn. We finally get to play the the game. Request Kairos, uh, Victor. Save one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine campaigns. Damn, my lord Zinch agrees. As I hold Gal Maraz, I am ready. Destiny 
in the name of Magnus. This uh, uh, cinematic now is in a higher uh, resolution quality than the one in Warhammer 3 action. Where's the first goal yet? No. Look at the circles of units. At least we start with an exalted flamer. Chaos Knights, nice. Battle reinforcement time minus 20%. Hero action success chance plus 20% all characters. Can unlock unique items that can be used to customize Kairos spell selection. Enemy hero action success chance minus 50%. Army defense chance plus 50 percent, and we start uh, in uh, in the south. First goal is at 1500, which is uh, Volkmar uh, ten, turn 10 uh, Tomb King's Crisis. Uh, yes, it counts towards uh, Man of the Month, but only one uh, gets it from, uh, from the nation this month. We have scoured the past, foreseen the future. The present belongs to Cinch. Cinch. Look at the indecisive. Broken trait. Kairos, fate weaver. This guy has uh, really impressive stats uh, for uh, base lord. And we uh, start with the uh, four skill points immediately. So who are we fighting here? We're fighting uh, Bubonic Swarm. We see Tekus on the other side. We see them, but uh, we only uh, see oh, two other factions. The neighbors here and these guys. It's me. And this, isn't these guys that get bullied by those lizards in the west? You address a slave and sorcerer of Cinch. Demon's Gate. There is hostile. Fate Weaver's Crevasse. That is a port alarm. Uh, different music playing here. Portal or Bastion better? I, I think it's the portal is better. Portal because of corruption, but uh, this one uh, provides a lot more growth. I guess if the only corruption get growth. If you're, if you're rushing higher tier, uh, Bastion is better. If you don't care about it, then Portal is better. Zinch was one of those factions that I was the most disappointed uh, on the selection of units. The most disappointed. Now they add a little bit more units. Uh, we'll see.
I got a broken threat, uh, this guy, but his mobility. What the hell is this? Five units. We got Chaos Knights. Is this... He has a spirit leech. Followers of chaos. Yeah, I'm here. This guy's beautiful. I love the skull on the shield. Look at the Chaos Knights. They're finally glorious. No longer riding ponies. This isn't ending this campaign. I'm gonna need to turn it off. Uh, why is that even turned on? Look at this light show. The cult is ready. The schema calls. Very well. Sometimes uh, feels weird when your uh, barrier goes down. It's like look at you look like you have low health.
Little guy stuff. Don't even have any little metal damage right now. Arm losses. We could have just uh, focused him as well. Looks like British Critical Mass 1 is the next campaign. What? When it's 300, they barely had anything. Get the uh, Grimoire with his faction is the uh, special currency. Uh... Single enter replenishment here, huh? But not for an Arnesa. I hear beastmen are fun. Let's try them out. I hear it really picks up on the second turn. People happy. Uh, yeah, true that, true that. Uh, he knows, he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, let's go, let's go there. Credit command. I think not more will get added. I don't mind uh, showing people what campaigns are currently going on. Okay. Finally, is it me or these textures are broken, this guy? This is how he looks like here, and this is how he looks like here. Yeah, there's something definitely off here. So we gotta uh, make a hearthstone here. Yeah, looks good, looks good. Undead in the first battle. It's a Salem battle as well. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's something uh, nice uh, grinding the undead. I like grinding the undead.
dark beast. We don't even have to go crazy here. We can just take it slow. We have a, a better uh, units here. There's a giant here. Malagor is flying. We got a cow. These guys are uh, can stick in the settlement, man. Beastmen, uh, a siege life have never been better. We have three flying units this army, man. This is a variety army. We have a we have a special salad campaign. I did tell you guys we're gonna have a big salad campaign. I couldn't decide on one faction, so we made a kind of like a system that can be uh, that can be uh, uh, I guess abused. Zombies and send all these guys here. I'm gonna kill uh, uh, my SZ with the oldest campaign loan. I'll just buy a new one. What happens if people get all the campaigns? Well, we uh, they can't get new campaigns, and then we can just switch around and finally play the game. If it gets to an SFO campaign, I'm most likely gonna play Dwarves. Who am I kidding? I'm play Beastman. Dwarves, Beastman, Dwarves. No, Beastman. No, I'm gonna decide when it ha if it happens. Most of these campaigns will never be uh, finished, but we're probably gonna finish one or two. Depends uh, how much focus they get. Came for Chaos Wars so we can do the realms uh, campaign again. Guys, imagine they release uh, Chaos Wars and they put achievements in all Chaos and they don't put achievements in uh, Immortal Empires. That would be such a dick move. That's how they force people to play that garbage campaign. You guys are wild tied. Well, uh, we'll finish at least one campaign, okay? The thing is, people can switch in between so much that we can never finish any of these campaigns. It might, it might take months. Hey, sleep, son.
We got Giant, we got uh, Feral Manticore, we got Big Gore Bull, and who has most damage? Shitty Archers. We'll uh, raise a Hearthstone here. We're gonna be uh, messing up this area. This is the uh, the beast uh, man mechanic. You have created new. We have a blood ground here, and everything in this area now adds up uh, towards the marks of ruination. What do you need? Like uh, ten minimal for the ritual. Hmm. Urban disaster. Light of the No Horns. All Richmond three attack for the Ungors. Herd and the Spearman herds. What the hell? You could finish Kairos. Load now and try another turn. You'll love it. Hmm, auto save, technology, yeah, so it's fine. Back to Kairos. No, oh, it's uh, auto save there after we created. It's a it's a sellout campaign. The wallets uh, have the main uh, what do you say play. I do like the IE trailer. It's pretty good. One of the best trailers. I'm glad they used uh, Carl Franz. Kairos, fate weaver. I don't like Zinch magic. We'll be casting spells, so I guess we need Pirates of Change. We are well, this is gonna be interesting, cause at some point it's gonna be hard to keep up uh, where we're at. So it's a brain. We're gonna be a brainstorm. Well, I know the gateway does something, Victor, but I still don't like Zinch magic. It's just a personal uh, thing, Victor.
Any tips for a moral difficulty? What do you mean a moral difficulty? I mean, legend difficulty? Get used to it. Just don't play anything else. The cult is ready. We are many. is very uh, fast uh, to respond It's the usual talk, you know, you're playing something else and that changes and then you don't like it because it's, you know, it's changing things. You just get used to the changes. So playing everything else and it becomes the, the main thing. After a while, it don't even recognize something else exists. Lost Palace. But what do we have here? Changing all the ways. Well, it's uh, too high at the start of the game. This one doesn't sound so high. We can't transfer the capital. We get 250 Grimoires for this one. Kairos, fate weaver. Seems to be in the enemy territory here. We see. Why there has to be an evil eyeball? This one is uh, is really trash. Thing landed the charge bonus and then we lost the dash and get the perk trigger anyways. I guess we'll get a lot of metal here uh, with knowledgeable. I serve the changer. Yeah, this has to be in uh, enemy territory. Keeper of the destiny scrolls. Hmm. This is already invested here, I guess we just go further. Get the great arc conduit.
Is the me or this glean magic has gotten worse since the last time we played? We cast Glean Magic. Maybe gets uh, buffed by the uh, mastery. Because it costs uh, too much for what it does. Also, this spell is way too high. You recover half of it, casting it, but uh, what's the point of casting it then? That point one plus point one minus point one is trash. They should be at, they should be higher. This is uh, just a bad spell. All is in flux. Marvelous. Makes no sense it's like that. Find here. Give to the changer. May he send us his immutable blessings. Serve me. It is determined. A uh, pretty cool. Uh, voice there for sure. Do we need to get some growth going here. So only goes in the capital, right? Hidden library. Get grimoires per turn research and income from all buildings in the province. And even more where the winds are uh, in our favor. It says uh, the chance of winds of magic increasing in strength uh, when changing plus 9%. But uh, does it work? Who knows? A tier three building. Right now the winds are uh, strong. When we get a good shit here, sever claw on uh, rank ten. That's a sick unit. Why this guy's in rank 10? Corruption. 
corruption is high. Oh boy, this technology tree. Nine is the number of the changer. Nine are the levels within the perplexing nine library. Zincher's repository of forgotten knowledge. Scour the bookcases, learn and indulge in our master's lore. What do you guys think? How many sections I guess on uh, on uh, uh, entire stuff in this library? Nine. Reveal shroud. We'll show the school. Hey, multiple wizards, uh, extra power is, is very nice as well. Arms gets 20 20 more wins of magic power as a capacity. That's a uh, very good tech. Cry out for this. Can I get the enter the turret and use the uh, the this thing here? For real, where is the Gorst campaign? We played two Gorst campaigns, people sick of Gorst. People uh, don't like zombies because they're too OP. Imagine uh, hating vampires. I don't want to see vampires because zombies are OP. This is the darkest age, or this is the best age. Supreme. I'm totally expecting uh, somebody. Uh, Somebody requesting Sylvania uh, just for the law to get his bandit. This will be a queen. Supreme sock. Okay, turn one finished. See guys, we finished we finished turn once on this stream. the range here it's all the way there huh I guess we might channel some winds uh, instead of just moving all the way follow me Cairo starts uh, in the southern chaos waste yeah Maybe this guy needs to recruit actually. That is the way. The way. One uh, of these units we will do nothing. One does nothing. We don't have other flyers, but why do we get more? Why do we get I more? Am no mere follower. I am part of the this is a trash unit. It's an absolute trash unit. Summon them! Summon them! Ah! It's on a tier 3, so we need to get growth going.
corruption and we get uh, some some of the books going. Looks like we're gonna have to deal with techless. We can go to banded harpies. Curious. Look at this, boys. Turn to all the complete. Somebody, somebody stop this madman. Going to return so fast. What the hell? You know what? Let's go back to Dretch. Yes, yes. Back to Dretch, huh? Ah, oh, we cute. We have to go next turn first. Okay. Let's see what the rat is doing. I forgot we even started Dretch, to be honest. Who request Dretch again? Was duty, bro? Clan Rectus. You see, guys, all these campaigns. This is what we started today. These are all active campaigns right now. We can switch to any of them. We are probably going to finish the two campaigns that got go furthest in turns. Whichever two campaigns uh, are highest in turns, those are the ones that are going to be finished. Especially can switch to Arnesa. I think we had enough Arnesa for one day. Okay, we got a battle here. Close victory with medium casualties against goblins. And we got Doom Wheel. Doom Wheel at least have more health. All the bad energy with the winds. It's interesting, the moment that we switched uh, off from Ernesa, I stopped drinking. When we were in Ernesa, I literally just went through like two glasses of whiskey. What kind of lord is a stretch a shit lord? Dreads, Craven Tail! Death Runners. I don't think they're, my, they're still my favorite Kevin unit. Uh, they're definitely one of my favorite, but not the favorite. Now, ready, now. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Death it took them years to get the uh, Dumbledore to proper health. Assassin. Spears. Good, yes, yes. Good, good. Damn, it's not bug in the back. Wrong ball. Let's shoot some lasers. My laser flank, the other flank. Master of Rictus. My laser again. Left laser. about the, this uh, thing coming in the face. Dredge, Craven Tail. So we're against goblins, this is a fair fight. Move time. Poison stop, stop! 
We are everywhere. Get back to a fight? Well, yeah, uh, the wallets run dry eventually. So we can finally play the game. Or scheme. Shooting there. Ready, ready. So he directly uh, makes a roll four to deal uh, damage without correcting the attack animation. Huh? I'm paying the reds. This is the best call of scheme. You don't have to paint them. What's wrong with basic? Look at this guy, Storm Roman has 77 kills. It's clearly OP with this faction. Basic course scheme for a basic faction. Couldn't couldn't say that myself. Uh yeah. We got a devastating flanker on this faction. Warp Forge Blade. Then attack magical attacks 20 AP, huh? Did they move food from a different option? Wasn't food on in the middle? Call me Lord Craven Tail. Mr. Lord Craven Tail. Shit, uh, uh, damage early. Without this weapon, has uh, 120 AP. This is treacherous victory only. Yeah, the enemy animal is too weak. There's a tree region here, and this leads into uh, Imrica, right? That's a fourth melee attack, uh, seven defense. I like it. it. Opportunity, fight. This one, the laws actually benefits quite a bit from Bloody because of his uh, later regeneration. Well, we get an option for uh, $30, 30 dollar option for Switch. Might have uh, put it too low. But then again, people troll half the time. Well, 
bloody helmet hat! Lord Master the Warrens! Agreed, accept! Council's command! Yes, good! Are you happy, FGK, we playing Tretch? And the Doom looks way better than Warhammer 3. The lightning is amazing. Well, amazing, well done. That's after the uh, the, the uh, 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 archers. Yes, yes. What? What? Client agrees. I agree. Yes, must. Move, move. Agreed. Yes, yes. Red Craven Tail. Yes, fine. I'm stuck in the globus now. Uh, the projectile from the Doom Wheel can actually kill a lot of info that just uh, has to get right. It also goes for fire though. I kill a couple of... Uh, kill the dead runner there. Get Gill Faction? Sign me up. Would be the legend lord though. Red probably still. Uh the summon units don't have any 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 uh, special things, Looper. Summon units uh, don't count for anything. Goblin still managed to kill Troll Storm Vermin. If I requested Meow in campaign with a corrupted mode, will you play it? Uh, corrupted mode. What do you mean, corrupted mode? Is the one that really has big tits? Probably can be arranged. Probably can be arranged, yeah. Just for science, you know, I'm just see if it's stable uh, the mode, you know, we can test it. Checked uh, what the most popular mods in Warhammer 3 in a while. Warhammer 3 Workshop, uh, most popular. And it's uh, one week time. 
Most popular mods are Recruit Defeated Legendary Lords, Better Camera Mod, One Button Respec. Respec is still not the main game, feels bad, man. Varian Selector, what the hell is that? As you choose character variants when applicable. And it changed a different portrait as well. The hell man. This guy does it for free in the sea, I can't even do it and they're getting paid. The wheel is uh, looking very good there. What do we have? 64 food. Tier 3 settlement here, huh? Mm, fine. Don't steal. What the? Did you get another one? Call me Lord Craven Tail. That was the same message. I don't even have a good item. Pack's turn. This is a rank 10. I wonder what we're gonna take first, huh? That's gonna be good for the campaign. Is it safe? So, it happens when we declare war, huh? This buff is only on the storm worm, you know? Let me attack during ambushes. Have a plan. Look at this, guys. We can get Plague Lock Catapults, Warlock Engineer. We can get Rattling Guns, Poison Wing Lobardiers. But Sigmar, help me. We are going for Stormwarman. And the Warlock Engineer, of course. I don't know army without Warlock Engineer. We get a Plague Priest first. Plague Priest and the Engineer. But we can actually get both. Look at this, it's turn one. Turn one, and we are building two tier three buildings and locking two tier three heroes on turn one. Just caving stuff. Plants. Oh. We do start with an assassin, so we don't really care about another assassin right now. Where do we get this? Uh, uh, we can't really wait for the other ones right now. What do we have here? Just Kevin Slaves, huh? This building used to be uh, more expensive, I think. They adjusted this. Uh, Trench starts in uh, the Desolation of Asgore. Just above Emerick. Lord 
The stone has to be here. One fifty for scaling slaves? What the hell? It's too expensive. That deal is like way too much in our favor for some reason. Let's control the dead pass. That's the clan worms controlling dead pass. Yeah. Short sure victory here even. Moonhauer snipes a calder. Howdy. At that price, crazy. We just need to lower the price, then go for howdy. Howdy. My name is Jed Masterson, and I'm a caravan boss for the Happy Trails Caravan Company. If you're hearing this, I have a job offer for you. Happy Trails. So what do you guys think? Uh, should we do like a like a long run of Fallout New Vegas, or uh, play? Uh, more of that Hogwarts legacy. Couriers, if you're used to humping it across the waste, straight toward trouble, we want you. If you got a pit boy, we definitely want you. On the other hand, if you're a greenhorn or a city slicker spinning tales about your skills, you can kindly go hang. I don't mind playing uh, like Hogwarts, but I wanna really wanna play some Fallout New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas and kill everyone. We're talking about, we're a good guy, we don't kill people. Unless they got expensive gear at the early game. Kinda wanna do a long run of Fallout New Vegas where I just do it like I did it uh, back in the day. Fallout New Vegas, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout, Fallout New Vegas, more wizard stuff, Hogwarts. Never took over grill. I did every, nearly everything in uh, in uh, in uh, Fort New Vegas. I always took Good Springs. I mean, I took Good Springs many time. Marconos is uh, wishing for Skyrim. No, Skyrim is gone on this stream. We, we're done. No more Skyrim. Guys have 10 charge, we'll take those. Maybe we get uh, to get a drop. Get more bodies. I feel like we're gonna have to deal with Imric uh, uh, early. Get some Plekla catapults and more stone vermin. We could also just try to ambush them instead of, you know, uh, going at them directly. Well, we're doing a one new game every month. We did a new game this month. They're gonna be a new game next month. What it's gonna be, who knows? Chieftain of the Deep Warrens. Sharp teeth. Still in the game. Do I see a sneaky gray seer plague? Hex! Report! That's perfection. Like, look at this, this should be, should be illegal. Gray seer plague sneaky. This guy is one of the best regular lords in the game. Send him on a difficult mission. <laughs> A 
We currently what lose uh, five leadership. We'll get experience of that guy. Demon caller. Let me get in tech for a few turns, huh? Maybe we should open the tech immediately. What's good about ambush? Um, nothing. Just destroy the whole enemy army before they even uh, figure out what is going on. You get to surround uh, your enemy and overwhelm them. Before, uh, without them uh, actually deploying a formation against you. In most of the situation, it's just a slaughter. Unless you're trying to uh, ambush uh, uh, Archeon's army with some Stormworm and shit. Iron here. The resources are uh, still poopy. Okay, we get technology here. We're going for the early heroes. It kind of slows us. It slows down us uh, with uh, some of the army equipment. Challenge campaign would be to save that Dao faction you just encounter a store grim, never confederate, but get them as an ally and have them be a major power. Which one? Storgrim? You just encounter a Storgrim? We're not playing Torgrim. What what are talking about, uh Marconos? You're going senile again. We're playing Tretch uh, Marconos, we're not playing Torgrim here. They are, these are not dwarves, these are greenskins. These are the moon howlers. Not clan hell something. Arconus is still in Warhammer 2. I, you know, Arconus, uh, you're getting old. Old and forgetful. Better to, you know, get some help. Hire an assistant or something. Someone switch to Torek? No. Ma switch to Malagor. Woman we lose here, four two percent. So what uh, we have to deal with the uh, green skins, dwarves, and ogres here. We're gonna hear us next turn. Looks like that uh, clan pestilence in uh, last year start. 
We literally just open with uh, some great tier 3 stuff and uh, get the army going before we do anything else. Because there's not much to do after this uh, step. Chosen. Night Raid! Let the bear scream, scream. I'll get help! I'll get help. There's a lot of mean goblins here. It is some bug with textures. Clearly see it here, right? This uh, this uh, textures on the on the models are bugged. And uh, a lot of times it just show black. Black textures uh, in some game just crushes the game. Tila's gonna be juicy too. Tila's not happening. I just put that 15k and 20k for the lols. Isolation might be happening, but uh, it's still a shit ton of money. But Attila and uh, and Emperor there is for the lols. I mean, when you when you look at it, uh, it's 14% complete the Elden Isolation on day one. So I don't know. I'm a little bit worried. Use the bodies of the uh, stone warmer to uh, make sure the scaven slaves do something. We just literally visited and he saw the oil money to get get it get it to get it up get it us get it us get it for us. Shit wizard is a, a retired supermodel. He's not a Saudi uh, oil prince. Kill things and mark bodies and mask spray. I only had a half a bottle. Why does it doesn't show uh, the range on the shots? The moment these things start firing, they start shooting. Shift. I was getting drunk when I was playing Arnesa, now I'm getting sobered up. What can I say? Arnesa makes me drink. Donald Katip, uh, probably gonna finish the rest of the bottle if uh, Katip uh, is starting today. We, have, we still have enough campaigns for one day, man. Uh, 
robots. Beholder of truth. We got a lot of bodies, but we got uh, a voodoo. I like Karp. I don't know. Warhammer 2 kind of ruined Karp for me. Streaming tonight until I pass out from uh, from this booze. Doom wheel. Slingers. Doom wheel. Rocket us. Retreat. Retreat. Sixty to fifty k now. There's one from ten k delta. Save him! It removed a lot of effects on these things uh, from Warhammer 2 to Warhammer 3, but it has like no performance drops. So that's you go on the Lord in order to get stuck fighting in Mala. I put the uh, Tila and uh, Emperor as option for the lols because uh, they're never gonna happen on stream uh, uh, otherwise. But yeah, I'd rather play a modded campaign in Warhammer 3 than Attila. Doom wheel. Dread Scraven Tail. Council's command. Run, chase. Oh, then blaze them with field. Hex cast. Yes, yes. But what orders? Why do you have to mention these things, uh, Zimbalhopter? Mainly expert, right? 70 defense, right? Thing, it was not even a star dragon, man. Dread what was it? A uh, sun dragon? Kill. I think it was a sun dragon. Yes, fight, kill. That was the uh, the bugged uh, glue uh, animation, where literally it was just chaining attacks in a charge uh, stack charge bonus. So what happens there? You're uh, trying to get away, but uh, the uh, the enemy has a, has a glued uh, att uh, attack animation on you, charging every single attack. So you get like 
four or five attack animations with charge bonus. I don't have food for this one, so I'll just get in tier one. This is not wrong though. Too expensive to build buildings in this one though. Gotta steal everything. Turn three, got the prawns. So this is complete next turn. And uh, this is the divorce, the uh, uh Arconos was mentioning the uh, clan Helheim. The uh, the Viking uh, looking tab dwarves. Call me Lord Craven Tail. <laughs> All hail, Honed Rat. We're probably gonna spend a couple turns here now recruiting the army. Yeah, th those should die to Imrik in a few turns. How much was done already? Uh, today, uh, 1410. Yes, yes. People were uh, trolling uh, back and forth with, uh, with lots of switching. Yes, so very brave, strong. We'll get the, uh, these guys here and get some uh, warp grinders and warp fire throwers. In the melee army, you need warp grinders and warp fire throwers. Red mage. Touch match. Rebellion, huh? It's a big goddess on a crooked mountain. When the Skaven occupied, they also loot at the same time, so it's a really bad uh, control great, loss. Great victory. Good, good. So at minus 30, and then for 10 turns. I guess that'll be a downside uh, for them uh, uh, rapid expanding. The slots here, anyways. What the hell is there? Six slots here. Ah, oh, cause the core building. Go for replenishing first. Well, uh, you could maybe just relocate a Storgrim. These guys are at uh, war with Imrik, so Imrik um, probably kills them. I make no promises as to the outcome. They, they lose uh, um, uh, their army immediately to Imrik, so Imrik just needs to click uh, click their two settlements. Getting some advanced units immediately. Kind of crazy because rapid expansion, you get access to uh, uh, literally all the heroes and uh, weapon teams immediately. Even if you're using a melee army, you should use some weapon teams because the weapon teams are from you know short, long range. What the hell? Yo, dog. I heard you like campaigns, so I got you a campaign so you can campaign while you campaign. Dr. Festus needs to make your yearly checkup, Hyena. Dr. Festus, nice. Thank you very much, Cyclone. And uh, we got the uh, Volkmar. Volkmar uh, campaign will be happening at some point with early Tomb King's Crisis. Game just auto saved, also very conveniently. It was a good timing. So this is our furthest campaign, turn 4. So, 
new campaigns can be started until the, f the end of uh, first week in March. But I think uh, only the uh, two campaigns that have the highest amount of turns will be completed. Most likely. Yeah, it's 300 already, Marconos. We haven't even got unlocked special. It's uh, crazy. I am Prince and Festus Emperor. actually looks fun. Nurgle, giant, chaos warriors, chaos warriors, get up and strolls. We got some of the best healing in the game. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that beautiful uh, emblem as well. Muscles gain poison attacks and spread nurgle corruption, can brew plague, souls and five and plague spread. A still duration of the plagues in the province and uh, the his army has a 25% higher healing cap. We start in the empire. This is the guy is the infestation one of the infest infections growing in the empire what makes the empire miserable these days for a lot of people. I think empire is a pretty good start uh, these days. It was a joke before. Well, uh, this is what happens when you drink too much uh, Mountain Dew, Marconos. Gotta drop that Mountain Dew. How is Bloom missing this? Well, he might have might have not expected we start this today, right? Despair all ye realms, the leech world has come. The sad days of this world are kneeling there. Elizabeth Aaron, I can do some impulsive <laughs> shit. He does have some kind of tentacles, yeah. Not likely. Festus. We start with three the Chaos Warriors. Sword. Damn. And this guy switches between the uh, regeneration aura and damage aura. Damn. Two points in a lot of pestilence, the Nurgle Authority stuff. We already went over uh, pretty much every faction turn one when the, the Emperor Morn was got released. Like a little bit of weird, a lot of bit of weird stuff, but it's a uh, uh, enchanted item. Pretty tanky stats, really, and has a lot of Nurgle. We get Samuel Ludenhoff with a shit trait. Damn. There's so many nice trades these days for these heroes, and we get the one of the shittiest ones. Well, these guys are pretty impressive in combat. Uh, five ounces of dice produced. Oh. Huh. Hmm. You look at look at it, the the amount of stuff you go through like couple of hours and the amount of factions and stuff like I, I think this stream today is just uh, shows how much uh, stuff is in this game. 
see. And we're able to actually keep up and know what the fuck is going on, what every faction does. It's just like ridiculous. Hey, Slater. Oh my god. Have you seen that shit? Holy shit. What the hell? Yeah. Dealing with early empire, we don't need the uh, uh, armor piercing. This one here should be pretty good. Who are you fighting? Just fighting Hochland. It's kind of weird we're not at war with all the Empire here. Get a sorcerer unlocked here. Four hundred income. Huh? So we got both infections and souls. Meanwhile, Gram Pepe gets dick. available here there's actually missile resistance here brass key plate cauldron Spread this one. Battle is We immediately get ten uh, back because uh, death counts are spread. Pestilent warrior. This guy can uh, probably be a hell of a fun if he gets the right trait. I got a mortar and a unit of chaos knights, emperor knights. My bad. Isn't this the, the father of this guy? I really dislike it when you mouse over it says exalt hero of Nurgle and instead of actually his name. Elich, could you please play slower and stop switching campaign every 10 minutes? Thank you very much. Uh, no. So this army has a 25% higher healing cap and the giants have over 12,000 health. Hmm. Hmm. Doctor Festus. Oh, 
So he has tentacles growing out of his back. Must be nice having two extra uh, arms. Kinda like arms. What the hell? Thorak. Thorak. Uh, looks like we're switching to Torek after this uh, when it auto-saves. Well, Marconos... Uh, he likes dwarves. So somebody should immediately switch to another campaign. Okay, uh, uh, is the uh, cinematic is uh, is. Was it not K? K is to remove the, the interface, but there's a button for cinematic as well. Alt K, Alt K. This one is uh, cinematic, Alt K. I, I don't use that one. Look at this regenerating uh, kills warriors in turn one. Slow their attack. We do have multiple shooters in the giant, though. We should just uh, aid him here. This thing has 30. Uh, this thing has actually quite a big radius there. Send this guy to kill his father. Oh, the giant can do two probably. Oh, the attack. This guy has a total ability to switch between uh, healing and damage. So these guys are out. This doesn't even require him to be in Malif to for it to work. Exalted hero of Nurgle. Summer Lunhoff, this guy is the Albert Lunhoff. We managed to play with, uh, like one turn of Beastman. I don't know, for some reason, people don't like Beastman. Maybe because I can pick between 10 other campaigns.
I haven't killed a single troll arm. Uh, this unit have taken 4,000 damage on 10 casualties. Warriors of John is turning on. Trolls died. What the hell? Let's go back to Beastman. Nice. Nice. So it's Torek and then the Beastman. We are the foul. The gods demand it. We love the sick. I feel. Oh, he just killed his father. Advancing. Warriors of Nurgle! So was very resilient uh, in that fight. Let's regenerate the giant a bit. That's his father, I think. Out of my way. I don't fail. When a single entity rolls its melee attack against a unit's melee defense, does the single entity rolls for each individual in the unit or unit as a whole? That's a good question. I I like to think it's uh, on the wherever the uh, the blow lands on the hitbox. So it's just going to be uh, for that area. Which means it's uh, depending from where they got attacked, uh, it's gonna be their defense, not just individual. Any all the individuals gonna roll, they just once. This effect is uh, you can totally see it, you know, so you know it's happening. This giant is taking a lot of damage, but look how easy it is to heal it. This lord is way too good. This has got to be one of the most versatile lords in the game. On top of that, he's a spellcaster of Nurgle. Hey, with the splash damage, uh... uh it might be different because I see them get hit uh, by different uh, values. Because we see a Star Dragon drop on a Warlock Engineer, and Warlock Engineer gets hit for 50 damage. So apparently, uh, the th the main the main uh, thing in the hitbox was air. Look at this. This one has so many options here. I think we get infections here. We need money too. I think money is a little bit more important than infections right now. Oh, auto saved. I have seen splash attacks uh, being uh, used on a single uh, target. 
Uh, is that either a bug or intended? I think I think it's uh, intended. Oh, to recover said immediately. And beastman, back to beastman, huh? Nice. Hope you enjoyed your uh, Torek uh, moment there, uh, Marconos. Look at those best cigars, they look so cool. Okay, we got the Hearthstone going in, uh, in this place here. And do we have only one enemy right now? But uh, everybody's enemy, everyone is an enemy to the Beastman. This guy is an amazing spellcaster. Ten percent here, all the factions have five percent. I guess the beastmen need it. Yeah, the beastmen have no upkeep now. They have uh, a limited capacity in the units. Well, on most units. What is this interface bug? Uh, is this the new, the new patch? No, not bad anymore. See, what the, what the fuck is this? Yeah, uh, when you, uh, when you complete the ritual, you get the, the stone back, the, uh, the shard. This stream reminds me of uh, me when I can't decide what to play. The special thing with this guy is cheaper heroes. But who gives a shit about heroes when you can just get whole factions? We're saving for that. These units here have no capacity, you can get as many as you want. New Beast Merug is so good, it's not, well, it's been like, what, two years now? This is the same area where Scarbrand is. It's a big battlefield here. We don't have to leave this area for a bit. Uh, what is the best garrison here?
I guess we don't really care about the goddess, only care about what happens. Uh, like the vision, right? So this faction of the beastmen have the best movement, I guess uh, on base movement at least. And we still want to try to get that uh, trait uh, as soon as possible. He's getting enough dread to uh, confederate uh, uh, one of the legend lords, which is uh, with this values here. Because not only you get a legend lord and his army, but you also get all his units and some other stuff. Accumulating marks of ruin. Look at this. Turn two, we see everything. That's sick. That works, so that's the Ari Force. One hundred thirty moment. Hmm. I come, Sammy Dallas. Dark freedom. Uh, yes, there is a SF as a part of the sale of goals. Uh, exclamation mark six six thousand. Never. So, what's this icon supposed to be? Is this thing supposed to be a strigo with some kind of crown? Or is it kind of creature we don't know? I don't know about. Carmen is such a such a cool voice. I mourn that this encounter may be bloodless. Conversing with you keeps me from battle. Corn, forgive me. You are yet to display dishonor. Corn does not demand your skull. I guess uh, we have to attack that mid. Look at this, 18 units turn 2. That is naughty. This, this shit, shit they have wasn't balanced at all when they made it. And they're still the same in Warhammer 3 it seems.
I guess because our units don't have much armor, uh, it assigns uh, defeat. These men are uh, gonna have it really easy in the, this type of battles because uh, uh, all these Ungors uh, have stock. Just fly over the walls. Hey, Bloom Cools. Uh, well, decided uh, I couldn't pick on a single faction, so the multiple factions, and decided to start earlier. Does look like uh, the students uh, suffer uh, from uh, too many models on the door. I mean, look at the uh, look at the uh, this unit destroyed uh, faster less models. Looks like the models are just bugging on the other unit. Hey Fjallovich, how many campaigns so far? Uh, I think we are at 10. Uh, pretty much uh, uh, Blade Master, pretty much. <laughs> Let's get them down. Yeah, I got uh, distracted. It's a, it's a sellout campaign. We're probably just going to finish two of those, the ones I get the, the most time put into. I think the most played one so far was Stretch. Whichever campaigns get uh, the most uh, attention will be the ones that get finished. 
I do notice the people tend to troll with these things when it's uh, you know possible, just for the laughs. I mean, they'll see what she does. I did start a troll campaign, then he switched to Ernesta. Normal people don't do that. Normal people at least see some uh, at least one turtle troll. I was there, bro. You see, there's so so much shit going on. I don't even know who it was. Yeah, these guys are bugged. Oh, shit, wizard. God damn. And their units can still smack and this uh they don't have a wall. Well I didn't expect to be 10 campaigns on the, on the first day. That was uh, pretty uh, crazy and funny at the same time. What turn is this? It's like turn 3. It just beats me have a full army in turn 3. We currently have like 10 campaigns, Bloom Cools. Uh, this is the uh, what we're doing, uh, Bloom Cools. Because, I, I, like I said, I couldn't decide to just play one campaign because there's so many campaigns, so many factions. So I, I made this. We can literally start new campaigns uh, for the foreseeable future and uh, go back and forth uh, the campaigns. Yeah, when I was uh, thinking about this shit wizard, I told you would start like 10 Gorse campaigns. So I had to uh, limit it to only one pair uh, faction. That would have been a uh, pair meltdown if we had like 10 Gorse active at the same time. Can you please go from Gorse 3 to Gorse 8? No, no, no. Uh, which one was that one where the Kuger has a big army? Was that uh, Gorse campaign 10 or Gorse campaign 9? I want the, I want the Gorse campaign to be challenging, goddammit. You mean, you think if in one of those 10 Gorse campaigns uh, I would have fucked up something or the AI would have actually gotten better units? So yeah, that one of them was out of the question. We need money for. Has anyone started campaign, uh, card campaign yet? <laughs> They're saving the best for last, I think. So I'll, I'll show you what started Bloom Cools. Uh, I picked a uh, Harbinger of Disaster myself, and. Gorse number one. And uh, we have uh, this. And now we have Gorse 2. Thank you, visit.
the moment the auto saves gets created and if we have to switch we switch as long as nothing has been happened uh, for, for the need for the next auto save so people can definitely troll with this no doubt the best uh, lord Helman Gorst I'll take Sigmar's Master of Unruh. Morris engines, zombies, let's go. What the hell? Aranessa. She does it. What, what the fuck are you doing? You see, you see what I'm talking about? I have to create an autosave. But this is gonna be all one, co consider one campaign for YouTube. This is definitely not 10 campaigns, this is all considered one campaign. Might as well put in the title, Back and Forth Sellout Campaign. If Gors gets the most runs, uh, we'll finish it. We just need to Gors be ahead of somebody else. Unleash the gift of undead. Oh, I missed him. Lord Keeper, damn, got a Lord Keeper. We don't have auto save. Okay, we're good. We can, we can, we can uh, click some things here. be back I need to take a piece to get another uh, drink okay what are our two most played campaigns so far? Uh, Clan Rictus and Oracles of Zinch. Okay. Clan Rictus and Oracles of Zinch. Uh, we're gonna all only look at the turn timer. Which whichever two are uh, the highest at the turn timer, uh, the, at, at the end of that, will, will probably be the ones that get finished. Tom Oxenfurt. Riff Rafa. What, the, what is the meaning of this Riff Rafa? Why is this called Riff Rafa? Anybody knows uh, what this means? Riff Rafa is a Thailian village under the influence of the Republic of Remus, famous as the site of Battle of Riff Rafa. It is located on the plains of the river Riati in the interior of Thalia, of the coast of the Italian Sea. The village is on the western bank of the river center between the Verezzo and the confluence of the Riati and Remo River. Damn, there's actually this thing in the, in the, in the wiki. Battle of Rivrafa. It's a famous as a site of Battle of the Rafa, but this Battle of the Rafa is can't even click it. I sure do like rats. How about some rats? Okay. This is definitely the most loaded one, though.
I was reading the lore, man. I was wondering why they put pick that city. Come on. New new stuff. We gotta investigate. What the hell? Mighty, am I, I... Kairos, smile. <laughs> okay, we back to the loading simulator. I need to get a drink, guys. Uh... It's been like this for the past four hours. Uh, we played a few turns. <laughs> we played a few turns. Hey, Dan Jones. Oh my God. Okay. Holy shit. Marvelous. Magical. We gotta, I mean, uh, you have to keep track of all this shit, what the fuck we've been doing. It's probably gonna be a nightmare after a couple of days. Kairos, fate weaver. We need to enter the territory here. Oracle of sin. Um, those guys don't have the move, movement down. I have scribed all. I'm gonna get those Grimoires. Now we do the, uh, the Scriver, Scriveners of Insanity. Good turn for this. We, this guy won't be able to move for two turns, but uh, look we'll at the tomes. And then... I enter battle and go take a piece and get a drink. Yes, uh, in a bit. We're back. Battle! Kairos, fate weaver. The past is set. Question mark, let the bell scream, scream. Bring back the rats. Rats, Sam. Um. Uh... Elich playing retiring after this cell stream. She doesn't even cover my family debt. Combined. Actually, sending Nerglings on the Chaos Knights. What the hell? I think uh, if, if they have a number, they should completely ignore the Chaos Knights. You just can't deal with a unit like this with this army. The most dangerous thing to our army is friendly fire. That is a really good effect for that flamer. So we switched to Clan Richter, so I also Victor, thank you for giving subs. Mm. 
His armies are hilarious against this. The auto save created. Uh, we're going in reds, right? There's definitely something else. Well, every time you switch to Ornessa, I got a drink, uh, genius, so at least something out of it. We actually have some really good stuff available here. Warp grinders, warp fire throwers, and we only have two heroes. Oh, look at this, turn four, that's crazy. Do they even uh, test this shit? I don't know, I'm, I guess they love this shit. This is like the fun stuff, right? I mean, look at this. Turn four. Mm. <laughs> this recruitment slots, right? You remember when they created Warhammer 3 and they gave you two recruitment slots? Meanwhile, Skaven, six from the start, like, hey, we need to give them recruitment slots, they, they need to recruit a bunch of Skaven slaving stuff. Who the fuck can we recruit this shit? Thing is, if we don't ambush the elves, we should definitely use two catapults, but we don't need any more than two. But we don't want to make this army about the uh, long range. But two uh, will make a more balanced army. And you know what's the best part? We even have the money to pay for everything. That's the best part. I don't know what that name is even about, uh, DBFC, I guess uh, FJK number two. Toyota, scary move. 25% cheaper recruitment, sign me up. There's only one FJK. Oh, baby! Hit me up! The scheming is so advanced, they break the interface. Let's go, let's go, not disciplined. Fuck. Fleet footed. Fleet footed is not bad for the plague furnace. This is uh, gotta be one of the worst trades. Look at this, we had exactly enough money for everything. You watch this play the odd wish. I I I I I feel like we should get some plague monks, but it that just doesn't fit. And imagine they were both disciplined. Skaven really needs disciplined. Sound like you said plague furnace? Yeah, plague furnace. Yeah. The eyes of decay. 
You want uh, the uh, Plague Priest moving faster on this thing. So, Fleet Footed helps. Uh, Fleet Footed is a, is a good trade, but I, I just would prefer it was disciplined because this is a melee, more of a melee army. Like, the yes. Stormborn will never shine without uh, a couple of discipline in high rank. Yeah, let's get rid of this crop. I actually just keep it right now. We actually don't have enough bodies. There's rebels here. Hopefully they don't besiege the city next turn. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the fuck we stay here? Move here. We played lots of scave in the past, uh, billiards. Just not in Warhammer 3. get do we need this we got the plague priest right oh, i recruited the wrong city right should have recruited heroes here that's not really a big deal but yeah could have been done better we just wanted the one plague priest because uh, Tretch uh, sucks and needs a wizard uh let me get rid of this Oh, well, we at least got lucky with the uh, uh, discipline here, so one one helps. A little bit more leadership in attack helps. Call me me, death master. How does it feel playing the released version of Mortal Empires finished and fixed uh, game of the year? The vermin tide. What do you guys think? Will the uh, Hogwarts Legacy still the game of the year from War Warhammer 3? I don't know, the Hogwarts Legacy definitely looks like a Matilda for the game of the year. So, Knights of Calder will finish up Clan Helen and they're probably gonna go after us. The dragon His initial wait. army uh, could be problematic. You think the Hogwarts Legacy is not a game of the year? February. Ah, uh, yeah. But uh, Elden Ring was uh, was the best game last year, right? Go back and cool. I was also released in February. What was that game you mentioned, Atomic Heart? What's that? Was that the game the Fenron played I fell asleep to? Starting with shooting? Atomic Heart, oh yeah, looks like a shooter. Weird shooter. What the hell is going up with their faces? It reminds me of that uh, game uh, with the Nazis. Wolfenstein, yeah. The, some bizarre shit here. Oh, well, that looked like uh, this picture kind of reminds me of the uh, the Bio uh, Bioshock. Eighty-eight positive. Oh, they, they looks like they're it's glad to see they actually listen good stuff. Fifty-seven hundred views, though. 
5700. One hundred and eight thousand. So yeah, this definitely looks like game of the year material. Get this high rating on one hundred eight thousand in such short time. Honestly, that uh, uh, shooter game doesn't look anything special. Okay, we actually got a soul looking army here. Now we need to switch to uh, Stone Watermen. At least a couple more Stone Watermen. Virulent plants. Uh, virulent plants. Uh huh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. LS, you think Starfield will be a contender for Game of the Year? On the house. That's what we copy, man. That's delusional. Have a plan. I mean, no doubt uh, the, the console games will be uh, contenders, but I don't count the console games. I'm talking about PC games here. All hail, Hornet Rat. I order scary move. Clan Rictus. You're in aim, my objects. This this does happen tend to happen quite a bit uh, with this uh, uh, switch thing. You recruit uh, one uh, th uh, turn behind. I need to get. Uh, I need to finally surpass this. This uh, up camera probably covered a dozen times in ten thousand hours. It's a rookie mistake still. I think Imrik is our biggest threat here. He's uh, uh, behaving a little bit weirdly here. Look at this. We got a good arm. Look at that. His armor uh, is way superior, though. Infused by Hoet's wisdom. We recruit two students of Teclis here. Master of high magic. I bring Azure. I'm only worried if he gets the tier three troops. Imrik. But some of his initial stuff is very good, and if he if he gets a dragon, it's always a problem. Because he if he gets a dragon, he has the armor at the same time. I mean, you could you could uh, just get you know uh, shooters right for it, like the uh, the, the rattling gunners, murder dragons. They release uh, the uh, spy balloons mod for this game. Like I would like to see like a spy balloon every province. Let's have to check it up. So these guys are to get uh, dead on turn six. The clan Hellhine. Kill list. Move chaos. 
No, you fail failed. Warp's tone. Power enhancers replaced. The plague wind comes. Stock pay. Another five turns to go access Stone Worming. It's actually not good in this building in the city. The hell? What the fuck is a Pinnick Victor here? Can I see this shit? Zero arm, by the way. Zero. We had a sellout campaign with Clan Morse. And uh, I managed to win this campaign because of abusing Kevin Slave Slingers. We can't get close to them because they have 120 range. We got uh, 80, so we gotta take a position on the map. I'll just be running around, so and uh, that we don't want that. If we send troops after them, uh, they'll just divide the, the damage in between. We we don't have that many chasers. Warlock engineer. Put the slaves in the front line so they get all uh, mitigate some damage. These guys might uh, go chase them. This is uh, one of my favorite uh, scaven units. You got 19 scaven slave slingers. 19. We need more doom wheels for this shit. Yes, yes, yes! Now, ready now! Yes, master. Just to get this one, I might just maybe get some damage. Red ogres, the red ogres probably get routed by these many slingers. Hey, shoot, you're still not sleeping. That lightning is so good. In it wasn't lying that good in Warhammer 3. I don't think we played on ultra, uh, ultra special effects though. I think they spend more time uh, making that Doom Wheel model than they put effort into making Lisbon mechanics. Wow. 
What? What? Skaven! Yes, yes! I, I smell failure! That lightning uh, is, uh, is like... Somebody put effort there. Like that looks hella, hella really good when it moves. That's how it charges and reloads and then uh, releases the bolt. Assassin here, but I guess we could send Trace to kill that guy. Uh, remember when the pellet dude was desynced like so many times? got a 20% health buff. That was a big, really big deal. That was like one of the most needed things with Doomwheel. I was gonna be shooting this unit, so... We either just try to chase or uh, get out of range. I mean, these guys have a 70 honor, but there's too many slingers. Yeah, frog. and scaven slaves. guys think will Skaven get like one or two DLCs in Warhammer 3? Gotta be at least one, but two? I don't know. Three? No way. Three? You really think the Skaven gonna get three DLCs in Warhammer 3? Ah. 
only always two food here. I'm gonna get a two food and two food here. This army should be way more than two food. I guess it's like eating rabbits. Enslave the slaves. Oh, but Asclaver is good. Call me Lord Craven Taylor. What? The, the council's voice. Around the mountain now. Huh? <laughs> Imagine they make uh, uh, more Lizard and Lords without the rework uh, any reworks. Have them then. Yeah, we need to uh, drop uh, on uh, Imrik. Stretch is back. Ready to march. Grey Seer control there now. Got here mobility and I don't know scouting here gets wood. I mean, we nearly did. We nearly did a battle in this campaign. Nearly. I don't know. I told myself I would not play uh, Grand Pepe until they make a rework. Cause going into a, a battle and just seeing a Patios and all the garbage on him is like. Imagine being a Lord Mazamundi and going into a battle and you have nothing. Just have a fat body. With two shit spells. And there is so many crazy things uh, on rank one. I mean, look at those uh, those uh, uh, gunships, the uh, what they call the Sister Twilight. That's turn one. Turn one. And then compare it to Lord Master Moon. <laughs> Mazda is a Warhammer one lord. Oh boy. That looks like reds are in the lead. Turn, uh, turn seven. It's giving the best in the end. We do see these guys in the Gashis are interesting. They're actually building the great holes. They don't start with it. Man, imagine you could feather this. Master Moon's Pride, Armor of Destiny, Talisman Preservation, and this confederate. Approach, approach, emissary of the Council of Thirteen. Speak, speak, demands. What the hell? Mazda. You could confederate this? What the hell? Well, speaking of Mazda. Thanks, Ipe. Damn, has anybody uh, uh, managed to confederate this faction? Doom decay. Doesn't just saved, right? We move this. I guess we have to complete the turn. We're gonna uh, drop on uh, Imrik. Run, fools, fools! Hi, chieftain. On Greyhog, eleven units. They might go around. This place does make a little bit money. I think uh, uh, it can be done. Join with us. We are strong, loyal, dependable allies. Yes, yes. I mean, it's uh, it's uh, it, they might do it one of the turns. 
Minus 50 on every deal. The dead guy has three crazy items. This used to just be a ruin, but they made these guys here with a crazy army. All hail Hornet Rat. This place is supposed to be uh, like uh, swarming with the undead. And somehow the Skaven are here. I guess the Skaven could be under the undead. It's supposed to be like the, uh, the frozen throne of this world. Many contracts. Good, good. Okay, auto save uh, has been created. Uh, must move the next time. In the Lord, there was a scaven clan there before the Vamps went there. I guess it makes sense if they're underground. Under the city, right? Because if they're like miles underground, they have no contact with the undead, right? Because this is supposed to be one of the most dangerous locations in the world. Back to Lizardman. Question, uh, not late to, from Warhammer 3. Can you make a free deck, cheap deck, and do well in MT MTGA? I guess it's possible, yeah. I will still take some time. No doubt there's some guides uh, for this stuff on the on the internet. Yeah. What is Bell with Master Mundi? This is one of the lords that looks the worst in rank 1. And this this just looks like a horrible lord in rank 1. Got a weapon master. Emperor Captain William is Mazi? No, no, but this, this as a legend lord looks really bad on, on rank 1, considering this is uh, who he, this is. He still has access to two abilities, right? What the hell? And, and a massive base. The changer of ways has shifted from Grand Pepe and is now focused on his chosen chicken. Some Kairos people happy. Kairos next already, huh? Got it, bro. Thanks. Why didn't they just give him a blast? Uh, one of those blasts uh, Croak has. It doesn't have to give him the, uh, you know, the big one. Just like one of them. Like the medium one. This guy is supposed to be one of the most powerful beings in the, in the, in the whole universe. And what he gets is a Lord Apotheosis. And this is not even that good of a spell. We defend this being a good spell because uh, there was nothing else for a while in that lore. Uh, Warhammer Wiki Lord Mazda Mundi. Let's see what it says there. I read this one time and I just got drunk and I just forgot half of it. Mazdamundi, Lord of the Solar City, is the oldest and the most powerful living slan mage priest and the current ruler of Hexwattle, the City of the Sun. He's literally ancient and sound shit on rank 1.
Lord Mazda Mundi has spent countless centuries studying the glyphs of the old ones and perfecting these four awesome demanding spells which are unique to the Slan. No other wizard of any race can ever use them. Only the mind of a Slan is capable of the mental concentration required to cast the spells and only a Slan could pronounce the incantations. Can literally cause an earthquake. Earthquakes. Why they made the ruination of the city so shit? Makes no sense. I mean, compare Mazda Mundi to Teclis or Murati. Teclis or Murati are supposed to be the next most powerful wizards. Mazda Mundi is just shit compared to those two. What makes Master Mundi good is his mount. And then all of his abilities met a little bit more. Yes. As, a, as a spellcaster, he's underwhelming. Ga -ga. They make like Teclis, Morati, Archeon overpower the shit spellcasters. And do we have Malo Mazun like this? Like, what the hell? Yes, the, uh, this one was updated to be the, uh, like the rest of the materials. Thing is uh, getting murdered by that uh, herald. That is a pretty strong herald, only on the base. Chariot's definitely got buffed. I mean, fixed. Still no attack animations, huh? Yeah, this is just the thing, yeah, uh, compare the Archmage uh, to uh, Molo Mazmoon, the Archmage even starts with a conduit. This guy should get like three more abilities at least. Six a second cooldown. Seven uses, huh? It's a little bit weird as well, the, the duration of that.
I definitely overtuned uh, Teclis and Morati, and they uh, were strong from the start. Meanwhile, Lozma's moon was left in the in the gutter. Eighteen hundred here. Heralds do pay. Okay, the game out saved uh, Kairos. Back to Oracle's Zinch. Of the half the time I cast the donation of the cities, it did shit. You really have to uh, create a situation where ruin a nation of the cities will not produce a bad result. And then it looks amazing. But in that situation, any little destructive spell will do great. Kairos, Fate Weaver. Okay, I'll load the cooldown on the abilities. Uh, I'm gonna get a lot of good stuff. You get a lot of power and get the good stuff, so I don't have to bother with the weak stuff. This is a gay province. Great province. Thanks, Norton. I don't think there's any reason to get this. The flux uh, this thing is useful because of increased mobility. Spells wise, uh, uh, I would say, I mean, triggering Kindle Flame with uh, one of these is always good, I guess. Situational, uh, this and this. Marvelous, magical, madness. So, Slash in the right, Lism in the left, Techless on the top. Does it look like uh, getting the chaos waste makes sense? What's the victory here, anyways? It's straightforward. Master, So Teclis uh, has a good location. The guy is too happy. The fates have aligned. The chicken screes the future. A throg campaign shall be started. <laughs> oh man, we do have a throg campaign in progress. Jeep count. We can switch to it, and you can keep three more switches. Okay, we'll switch to the throw campaign, and you can switch three times back to it. So I guess you can secure a throw campaign for a while. The game just auto saved. Uh, what if I don't have 120 to counter all three of his switches? Well, uh, then uh, yeah, Elich happy. You guys have been going crazy here today. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much. Okay, Trog. Turn two. So this is the campaign they have currently in progress. I didn't take a piss. Hold on, hold on. We can't take a piss. I need to go in battle first. Okay, I'm gonna take a piss. Okay, okay, we're here. Give me flesh. This even says I eat my enemies, but you can't eat them after the battle ends. What other factions have this option? Had uh, two pieces of cheesecake. And I finished the that bottle of whiskey. It was just a medium bottle, 0.7 liters, and f barely felt the effects of the alcohol. Must be all the carbs that uh, that uh, absorbed or something, or blocked it, or mitigated it. Yeah. 
Kijk, Truin, de, de baas. Stem voor een battle of... One battle limit. One battle limit. Uh, I, I do have another bottle, but uh, let's not go crazy. Good plan. Good plan. Throw grease. How do the marauders eat their souls? Explosives. East. Moderation is for the weak, pleasure for the pleasure's sake. Runescape. <sighs> Surprised nobody started one of the Slanesh campaigns. All the red names have failed to deliver. I guess uh, there's still time. This uh, uh, Norsk and Ice Rolls are uh, such a nightmare for the early dwarf units. Why request now when we have a patch coming soon? You know, like in two months? Also so good at uh, doing damage with wars. Oh, it's a Norse settlement. They haven't really changed this, huh? We we need to re uh, dedicate five of them. But this is completes a province, right? Maybe they got commandments now. Maybe they got commandments now. Lord of the monster. Mm. Look at this! What do we have here? Ah, that's one of the better commandments. All other types of corruption minus three. Ah, damn! What they, what they, what they make this one like this? They don't change the other ones. Twenty growth, ten percent chip reconstruction, the scaling one. Lower tradition under siege and lower movement for the army and its province. Recruitment uh, cost and capacity. This one is uh, uh, special. It goes well with the other corruption as well. We'll tier 3 to get more trolls. Anyway. Yes. Uh, we do have 4 trolls in the army, so we buff the trolls first. Cross beaten gives attack and weapon strength to the Norsk and Ice trolls. And the Norsk and trolls. This is uh, pretty much a core stuff here. And these guys will give us uh, a bit of shades, right? I think this guy is kind of OP. Boom. 
Battle time is feeding time! Do have any diplomacy available? Ah, there's a uh, guy in the north now. I am chosen. I am Azazel, chosen to bring experiences to this plane. Not like a, a good, cool voice actor to put like in a old game. Azazel, yes, believe what your eyes see. Am I not beatific? Damnation. There is no wish I cannot grant. No desire I cannot fulfill. Lover. Fighter. Yes, believe what your eyes see. Am I not beatific? Darkly. I am Azazel. Chosen to bring experiences to this plane. I... I am Azazel. Azazel. You think to parley? Why bother with words? I know what you need. What does he know? Lover. Fighter. Yes, believe what you are. They call me Exalted Betrayer. But rest assured, I shall not betray you. Charioteer to give some. Damn it. They call me Exas. Prostrate yourselves for being in my eminence. God damn, I can't believe they recorded some of this shit. Lover. Fighter. Bring death. Overrun the world. Yeah, I guess we've forgotten this guy there. I was wondering, I was worrying that we'll just switch immediately. The Krakadrak has uh, more settlements uh, than I remember. What do we even have here? These guys don't have channel. I don't have channel. Ah, the channel with the rating. On the prowl. Yeah, that's rating. So only armies in the region, like that makes no sense. Only armies in region. The steer four also seems to be no nothing anymore. Like what is the purpose of this? I guess maybe for the global recruitment? Get more foot soldiers here. Uh, we're gonna go grind some dwarves. Enslave the southerners. Southerners. Uh, Monolith of flesh. It's here. We could get attacked from the north. This garrison is pretty bad on first two tiers. The first one doesn't even add defense, it's interesting. Sports uh, 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 are a little crazy. Almost like uh, they want you to uh, build up uh, uh, infrastructure this time instead of just waiting for it.
What a stack will be for the Monsters Arcanum. Uh, uh, maybe this thing works in Warhammer 3 now. I mean, it's no longer in the battle, right? Drago. Doesn't work. Uh, we have like 10 campaigns in progress manual. This is what we started today. Wintertooth, Oracles of Zinch, Hexoatl, Clan Rictus, Caravan Blue Roses, Harbinger of Disaster, Fecundites, Heralds of Erle, Parasartosa, Karazakara, Camera Expedition. We started all these campaigns today. It's done. This way. Moving out. In agreement. Rogue. What happens if someone uh, donates a switch uh, to switch and says you choose Beastman? Easy. I kind of want to get uh, tier three here sooner. This is what uh, what's the fastest tier three here? Uh, Moment of flash. Hmm. Seven turns. Did we achieve 3000 yet? No. There's too much growth here just to wait for the, the second pop. Everybody can get upgraded first. Turns away attack and defense. And uh, there's not gonna be end of the world. We get some uh, some uh, uh, spears. We might need to fight somebody else. Lair of the Troll King. This location is of special importance to Troll the Troll King. I actually, seen Troll the Troll King raise this place once and just left that ruin. Let's go back south. I hear the beaches around Aranesa are nice at this time of year. And this is exactly 2k now. Um, they brought switches to Aranesa, just saved. Damn, what is going on today? Every time I check the stream, there is a new race playing. Uh, yes, uh, the the jeep count can do three switches. If he, if he, if he wants to. We feel like we spend most time on this campaign, but it's still <laughs> turn two. <laughs> it's still turn two. Aranesa cringe spite. We got uh, uh, eight to nine units here, and a garrison is eleven with mortars. All bones on deck. Two more turns for mortars. You I guess you can get mortars on Aranesa faster, as uh, uh, she does have to move. 
All bones on deck. Hmm. All in deck hands. Now we, I think we just go north here. Sartosa's most infamous. They might have uh, stuff here, though. What happened? Nothing happened. I'm no mermaid. By Sigma, no. 16 units there. See, father. So if you uh, start moving and you backspace to cancel, this is what happens. It's almost like some kind of trigger uh, uh, mode. Jiggle Nessa. Yeah. Pyrrhic victory. Let's go. Shaking that booty. What booty? He has no booty. He has cringe. Is it me or uh, this, uh, these clouds are new? Are those clouds? That's gotta be some very impressive sky here, look at that. Ikit Claw. These guys have more range, like what the hell? They literally use the same weapons. Free company militia! Free company militia but loads faster though. I don't remember this guy say 120 range. We are ready. Yes. That's an order. Swords out. Those are uh, really cool uh, uh, cars there. Above the range. Guys take a while to turn. trees and they still uh, uh, do pretty considerable damage there. Gunners. Man, Dax. 
They're faster, but they're uh, disengaging faster. Just slowing down here so we can blow up the be the fat guy. Here comes the big one. What the fuck we have? Huh. I'm like, what the fuck we have those zombies in the army, but those are just the uh, the Empire troops. What <laughs> the fuck are these guys trying to do? Sneaking my bombers. Guys, take enough damage. I don't want to disintegrate. A proper fight. There is the target. Land lover. This thing's a way more impressive than Warhammer 3. That was a fat explosion there, 315 casualties. The range units were useless. So we have two dead gunners. Those uh, scary dogs did very good as well. Nearly 19,000 damage on the bombers. 21,000 damage on the Fetso. Look at this. Uh, barely uh, any casualties and they tanked quite a bit of units there. This is uh, no game, but no. Sack it and hold it. Curse of Eternal Service. Let's play corruption first. Uh, this faction has some of the best campaign skills in the game, so we gotta prioritize that. The first area and the second area. Some of the best. Blunder! More cool and more powder. I'm gonna chant ballistics first. How close are we uh, getting to 2k? We all leash 2k. Exactly 2k. I think I'm going to about Vanessa. Then it's uh, been. Uh, my bad, my bad. This is the Vampir Coast. Vampir Coast. Vampir Coast have some of the best uh, campaign skills. I didn't say sp Nessa specifically. Ends up, yeah. Ends up. I don't really care about these units. This we have to be desperate to use this. These units are excellent though. These units are excellent. Got some more guns. Uh, waiting for mortars in Satosa, but I feel like uh, how we're progressing here, we could have gotten mortars here, but it could have also been Mergliano. 
This was an easy target, though. We might not need mortars from Merglion these days. I'm waiting for this mortars here. Find treasure! Fear the pirate queen! Mm, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have enough shooters here. Uh, I might get a couple grind more grinders. It's supposed like like one of the worst uh, 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 kind of buildings in the game, considering it's five tiers. Blenchman is all the rich seed point. I think I'll get more on the infantry here. Uh, our range is uh, already crazy here. Probably another handgun from the race dead. These guys are good in the uh, the early stage of the game. Uh, very high attack and has a on the infantry. Uh, good uh, uh, mid, sh mid shields uh, to kill some uh, trash infantry. Spite. We work together with Clan uh, Scryer. The Empire. This uh, faction is a uh, hard diplomacy as usual. Uh, the Vampire Coast factions. Yes. So. Stalin's won't deal with us for some reason. That's weird. No, we want the Clan Scryer on our side. I have only one good ear. Yes, yes, yes. We can also Who feed him Stalia. This guy will wait for the mortars here. Uh, we can also Mark, see this. Executioner axe and sorcerer. Sorcerer. Fuck it. Attack and defense. Scales and salt. Mm. It's not a bad weapon, but uh, for this faction, it's not ex it's not special. Salt water. It's probably one of the worst weapons for this faction. I mean, it's good on her if she's fighting a large target. I'm I'm uh, drunk here. My head is spinning. I had a whole bottle of whiskey, and I can still play this faction. So you can you, my Marsh Megans. Oh man, something fell on the floor. I didn't see it. Oh fuck it. Was a sick bastard that requested this faction. You know, I had a half a mind just to place her with some uh, other lord. But eight attack on this bonus versus infantry guys is okay in the first twenty turns. The queen of tides. Now we're talking. So you can take this place without mortars. This should be legal. Who needs more to stake big cities, right? Hold on, hold on. Yeah. 
I mean, this is one of those factions which uh, rewards uh, good uh, skill on the battle for the most, I think. Like, it doesn't look like much at first, but if you apply everything right, you get some crazy results even on the base. I I'm talking about uh, Vampire Coast, not about uh, what the fuck is this faction called. It's, it's the Vampire Coast. That's why uh, it's been nerfed so many times so over the, over time because of multiplayer. What? There's not towers here. Nobody's hidden here, so we just make a front attack here. Good. For some reason, these uh, units are way better at destroying doors than the regular infantry. They got a high ground crossman. I actually played really well there. Correct. The hell was that? This is uh, surprisingly a very, very good deployment there. Free Heal and all the right uh, spots for crossbows. Workers would love that, but we don't have any. What do you bid? A lot of situations where uh, they make us uh, hurt, but when we get close. Uh, they are dead. There's a very good deployment of all those crossmen. I guess it was just RNG there. Awaiting orders. Taking position. Don't tell anybody, uh, Archmangus, but Camel is one of my favorite lords. Top five. I just love that old, uh, old lunatic. I was like, had this, uh, uh, this approach to Warhammer 3. If I don't play my favorite campaigns, I will not get disappointed when they, something bad happens. So I let the people request more than pick myself. Uh, we should raise these guys here. Maybe we can get into the city. They have actually a line that says summon Hans Marshall. I think that existed before Hans Marshall was released. Get some momentum going here. These guys don't have the leadership to go solo. Free company militia! The walls are uh, are causing us a little bit of problems because we have guns. But we'll eventually get to a position where we can fire our, our guns. From Free company militia! Look at those crossbows, it's very annoying really. Ernest is getting murdered by regular lord. 60 defense, melee expert. My ass is melee expert. What the fuck is this shit, man? It, that guy doesn't have good stats. This is not Warhammer 2 to get uh, to show for you to, to get murdered like this. That uh, cross of focus is really good. We managed to get some uh, bombs through. Free 
Three company militia! We just need to get him targets uh, so they drop focus on some of the units. Probably gonna lose those guys to disintegration. Yeah, they're uh, disintegrating. Yeah, the bombers are delivering. Holy shit. This is the MVP on, uh, on the early game. This has been vastly improved Warhammer 3. The response time on uh, on giving an attack as well is just crazy. I mean, look at this shit. This is uh, this is an old tune unit. This is a crazy unit. It w uh, seems to be way more responsive as well. I'm gonna lose these guys to uh, disintegration now. These battles were tough without the mortars, but uh, you just have to pressure, uh, pressure right. The damage is just crazy, it's like stronger than any wizard. I mean, on the early game at least. These guys don't have the leadership or toughness to survive uh, so much pressure, but uh, we took Mirigliano without mortars. You know what happens in Warhammer 2 if you're next against these situations? She just gets spanked, murdered, routed. At least in Warhammer 3, uh, she can do a little bit more on this base. But look, I mean, you look at her stats, it's like. like it should work, she should work, right? And especially on the base. In Warhammer 2, they had better melee stats, but it's still the same shit, she's just losing so much health. Talia, go destroy turn 3? Get the fuck out of here, we don't have mortars. So closer to Sicily, huh? One point here for 9% better loot, huh? Uh, the new campaigns can be started until the end of the first week of March. We haven't seen over half the factions, and so this is your way to go to see all the, about the factions. We're most likely not gonna see a lot of uh, some factions for years, otherwise. All bones on deck. My compass agrees. Three sheets to the wind. see these guys like this. Ready to sword. We want to make friend with Clan Scryer. No time. Experiments to do. Pest war with Clan Scryer. What the hell? We have never been at war with Clan Scryer. Goddamn scripts. What about the Stalia? I think we should join that war. I don't want uh, Ikit clone on our side. People seem to be, uh, you know, pushing this campaign, so we should put a little more effort here. Granted. This uh, faction has a very strong location. Fear the pirate easy, to, easy to just uh, get ahead. I did 
did adjust the cost on this a bit uh, when they did this. I just wish this was just a little bit better. Just a little, little bit better. But it's still almost, still, it's still better than this. Can you imagine that 1,000 resource, 1,000 cost resource is better than a landmark in the same city. They cost four times more. I mean, what the hell the thing? Like, look at this. This is some of the worst resource buildings in the entire game. But it's still better than a landmark in the same city that costs four times more. This is the material for the Get Book of Bugs. This is a terrible landmark. They need to triple these resources. This is still better than tier 2 buried treasure. It's so sad when this is like the best option. And it's it's not even good. This is not good because this is a single region province. It would be better if it was like a large province. Well, we need to add more to this army. And... Uh, oh, this guy. Speed is good, you know, for uh, like a... Uh, 40 base speed. Like, why does this guy have a 40 base speed? This guy's supposed to be fast or something? He's faster than, than vampires. I find that very odd. Zombie Doom guy. Whites are better than your average on dead, even if they're not vampires. But he seems to be kind of fast. For the base speed, uh, that's faster than a vampire. Is it me or just gaining more speed because he's like a range guy? I don't know. Uh, for the speed, uh, always looks strange in this guy. Has some interesting stuff, uh, so we don't have to go for training. Swordfish. Yeah, I I don't even remember he had four speed. This place has to get the extra girl as a single region, single region or a four province region. Uh, it still requires the same amount of girl for population. Shape. At this point, we can go further inland, or we could just travel the seas. What do you guys think? Uh, like in a pants like this, you, you go. You, what do you guys do? Do inland, or just go travel the seas? Because uh, for a faction like this, uh, doesn't really matter the, the any of these elements. Like, I feel like you should not really be stuck with the with the mainland with factions like this. Even if you lose the whole coast, doesn't matter. I will not leave you alone, of course, but yeah. We 
got how much? Six, seven hundred uh, infamy here. Our victory uh, objective is uh, 30 settlements and Galleon's graveyard for some reason. Why Galleon's graveyard? I don't know why. He hates the Norska. Why not uh, make it a uh, objective to go destroy like ten Norska settlements, something? Noctus killed her boyfriend. She had a boyfriend. What the hell? That's news to me. Noctilus killed her boyfriend and they hacked off her legs too. What? My ship. I think the best thing to do here is to give Tylea to the rats. Talia means nothing to us. It'll just cause problems. The, the, ra uh, the rats will love us. This faction should not be played like other factions unless you really want to. More moving, less moaning. I have only one good ear, yes, yes, but I still hear. I think the best thing to do here is make sure the scam blood is a strong power in the area. And nobody bothers the island. The uh, silic, silic, silicies, silic. Sisley. Any warp stone in your boat contraptions? Fine. <laughs> what will Skaven Blight do with you? <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> yes. This game is alive. Turn four. Kill yeah. Well, uh, this works the for the moment, but the moment we reach turn 20, they might just do treachery and the rats, right? But it's gonna take probably three weeks to get to turn 20. But I think this is the way to go. What is your demand? Plane sailing. I'm no money. Get mortars here. I didn't expect the today to uh, we, we start ten campaigns. That was just crazy. I definitely expected throwing with the switches, but ten campaigns. Fear the pirate queen. Docking. Ready to swordfish. Very good. This guy will just fall off for a bit. Fair wind. Yes, we can disband him right now. Okay, oh, let's get some mortars. What number of mortars? Probably six. Get rid of these uh, guys. Uh, 
We need a large armor body. So we get five. Most infamous. Can we talk instead of fight, kid. Yes. Make a deal packed with Scryer. I would like to get uh, some shooters from them, but they need to get the right stuff as well. What the hell? I've had my fill of Aranessa for now. Let's go back to Beastman. Peepoppins. Beastman, got it, dear bro. We have to uh, get out of there, though. I don't remember this bug. Salt water. We could go with the mainland for sure, but uh, I think making clan scatter power makes more sense. This faction is not required to hold territories. Oh you Unless you don't want to, right? Okay, auto save just happened, and uh, we're going beastmen. Hey, Cornmill. Oh, people can uh, start any campaign here, uh, Lord Drago. Heck, all every single fashion can be started. Probably be a nightmare to keep track of everything where we at. Uh, we raised Galbras. Mm, I get going through who says ten percent, but I don't think we're gonna get the campaign skills. This one is okay. Okay. I don't like the second area anymore. There's uh, definitely better stuff to get. Flock of Doom into life leeching, I guess. Gotta have been Warhammer 2. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not gal here to go back and install Warhammer 2. I'm not that desperate. Multiplayer stream and SFO and all some other stuff, maybe it's the best to get. So we want to get more devastation here. And I want to get enough dread to uh, confederate uh, another faction. I think we need to go from the left. Smacking this guy would be good because he gives us damage and charge. It's ideal for the beastman. But he's also on our side right now. What the fuck is this, man? Oh, this, I'm clicking on the wrong button. I'm like... Wait. Okay, I'm just a little bit drunk. Too drunk? I'm just a little bit drunk. Shut up. Guys, 
Christ, can you believe this is turn two? What the hell? This was like turn six. We need to uh, get some more voodoo as well. How do we channel voodoo with this faction? Raiding? Zero to thirteen. How do we get thirty percent more? Zero to thirteen. I'll oh, get twenty percent more. I think Malagor should be a little bit bigger on this screen. I guess he, he could be a little bit bigger. The best unit in the army is not a giant. That's amateur stuff. Who will tell me who was the best unit in that army? In this early stage of the game. Definitely not the giant. I'm, I'm not talking about characters, I'm talking about the units. Turn 3, what's the best unit? Of course, Mongo doesn't want to work. Ungo Raider, Lord Drago. Points, points for Lord Drago. That's the best unit in the early game. Ungo Raider. We should uh, probably channel some more magic here. Just to go raid towards there. I don't know, maybe they have an army somewhere. The Ungar has always been the best early game basement unit. Very well. He's rank five. I live only for slaughter. Perhaps one day I may slaughter you. We're trespassing his territory? God damn, we're gonna attack us. Oh, we guess it's straight. Speed for all units, poop, uh, damage against dwarves, high elves, wood elves, and dark elves, and men. Huh. I, I don't remember that gold. Four turns for this one, I guess I'll take this one. More ammo and reload time for Runga Raiders. This one is situationally uh, okay, but we have to have more melee stuff. Uh, this one is four turns, so I guess it matters, but this one is probably the best in this area. Talk about that enthusiastic guy. The guy was like too enthusiastic. Oh, all Jade is a shit. I need Dread to Confederate. He might attack us uh, when we next the settlement. I mean, that would be, that's nasty. We can't do anything about that if it happens, right? Can't play around that. If it happens, happens. It's better than G. I 
I guess we can uh, just hide there. He does have a full army nearly. Yeah, uh, they they forgot to remember the setting. It's been like that for years. We're trespassing his territory, so he doesn't like us. He might attack us, uh, uh, Nexus. He's, uh, he probably has a better army uh, uh, for the balance of power. This is uh, actually a good bottleneck here. Undoors. We, I think uh, what this the series needs, uh, or entire Total War series, I'm talking about Warhammer, the series in general, more terrain that has various obstacles. Guys, remember all most of the Warhammer one and a lot of Warhammer two battlefields. Literally, what we had that one fucking rock on battlefield, that one rock that pretty much is this. This is the obstacle. So, literally, deploy our whole formation in like a kind of like an L shape with range around this obstacle. This is pretty much most of Warhammer one. Stuff like this uh, needs to be more common on battlefields. These guys are a uh, uh, can of water. Allegor is actually a really fast flyer. Look how fast he is, and get even faster. Got 35% miss cost on. Not really worth it. This uh, overcast doesn't do anything really anymore. They have fine tuned so many uh, overcasts that they don't do anything anymore. I'm Hogwarts already, no. I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue it. Literally, there's a lot of uh, just overcast. You know what they do? They just double the effects or double the cost, but there's a miscast chance. So, why overcast? A lot of the stuff. Location hack. Literally, our blood, uh, fog doom even these days. I guess you, if you need the range in the second effect, right? Like, this civilization was uh, pretty sad with our blood. Our blood is probably the main example of this. And it's been a while now that the uh, Evocation Hex has not been worth our casting. Defense and let's just make them fast. Nasha Wushra, Rothkar, 
This thing lowers the defense, so it's much easier to hit, so they'll up faster. Those guys, once they, once they lose frenzy, are not so, so big of a threat. Terrified him there. Ah, the monster. Uh, that work has made sense because we need the range. We do have uh, extra leadership penalties, so uh, this stuff will work a little bit better, like uh, Fear and Terror. Mala got a special too. These guys uh, got focused by the range and they're out, but uh, they still have not good bodies. I'm not a fan of the Chaos Warhound unit card, me neither. Me neither. I think they could do my much better job with that unit card. I think Ungo Raiders could also be a better unit card. We need to get movement so we can hide. We don't want to be in the range of uh, Scarbrand. I don't want to give my ideas. So, so, so. Oh. This is cup for uh, Malagor. Well, this is better. But what do we get here? We don't like, need any of this right now, but Arkon needs five skills. I don't think Arkon is worth uh, focusing on this skill lord. Like, Love Leeching is great. Uh, literally, any of these are great. But look at this one point. Yeah, he's more attacking defense. Uh, when do we get the Rage Mr. now here? Rank 10, 13, 14. What's the one, the first one that, that matters? I guess they are, they're all decent because uh, they're free. I think the Centigors are the first one that matters. Rank 14 and 16. Saving a uh, dread for a uh, confederation. Hopefully before turn 10, but unlikely. This guy is really vulnerable to uh, the Flock of Doom. And we can also sneak around. Let's get just more cannon fodder here. The Amalgar only has uh, minus 8 con uh, leadership here, which makes their friends weaker. They can maintain friends that have enough leadership. Got 16 points here. And this is still the same area, right? No, this is actually out of this area. Shame. But I'll not uh, uh, do it yet, no. Because if we transfer to another area, we'll still get 10 to clear the ritual. This area is still a good target. And get the battles as well. The station gets increased by battles, not just by raising. 
We would like to get uh, Scarbrand straight, but we don't really want to fight him in a fair battle. If he gets weakened, then we'll smack him to get his straight. His straight is very good for Beastman. Damage and charge. It's a shame we can't feed him settlements. Sure. So you could actually get a hero here already because of this faction, but this is not important. We already have a uh bull, so it doesn't matter. This is the most important thing. It's because it's too cheap. This is uh, how you snowball the fastest, this thing here. This thing here is way, way more than anything else. Any of these guys are, are, are nuts, especially these two. I think Morgor is the strongest uh, from the Malgor's perspective. Morgul is always probably the best one to unlock. I have to think about the starting units. Kazakh is probably the weakest to unlock first. You need uh, uh, to unlock a second army. This is a second army, so you can snowball faster with uh, with dread and everything. You the uh, this thing will just get you dread faster because you get more armies, more battles faster. Morgul is the strongest if you're not playing Tarox faction. Morgul has the best uh, uh, skills outside Tarox faction effect. Tarox is crazy for his faction effect. As a as a legend lord, he's not not the best. As a faction, he is by far the best. But Morgul and Malagor are way stronger. You get a really strong fighter lord, but a strong fighter lord cannot really compete with uh, uh, with what Morgan Muller can do with, uh, with special skills. Tarox doesn't have that. Tarox is, is special because it's faction. And you, you're playing already a different faction here. You're playing Harbinger of Disaster, you're not playing... Uh, uh, what's the faction it's called? Um, uh, slow. I don't know what's his. Uh, Tarok is just crazy if you start with him. But uh, it's not that much different than than Kazark. I think Kazark can even get more damage than Taurox. It just don't have as much toughness. Slaughter uh, tribe something. Is this in our territory? This is more uh, devastation. But we ignore this. Beautiful. Every battle in the in the uh, what's it called? Blood ground will give us more devastation. This is the leader of this faction. He always starts the goblin for some reason. They haven't fixed it in Warhammer 3. Slaughterhorn tribe? Right, Slaughterhorn tribe. Let's take what should be ours. We, we don't really care about this area here. We care about this blood ground. Blood ground and the getting enough dread for the second army. That's all that matters. So I can perform this ritual as, for, to get as much devastation for Marks of Ruination so I can progress with this. Get more army capacity, get more dread to confederate. Mm, this is this doesn't matter at all. I mean this would be nice, but not for six skill points. I think life leeching and uh and this area is a little bit better. We need more power. We 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 don't really need this for six points. Who 
We need uh, 25 marks for the second army. We currently have 18. And we need uh, 1200 red uh, to unlock a lord. So that's pretty much what you're doing in the early game. Max army count you can get. Uh, well, uh, I don't remember if uh, these things can be purchased multiple times. But uh, this is this is various stuff you can get here. There's a fifteen hundred for additional army capacity, but you can confederate this better. This is way too cheap, if you ask me. Probably fifteen hundred. I think fifteen hundred would be a way better price for this. When you compare it to like this. This is probably should be between fifteen and eighteen hundred. I think fifteen hundred uh, makes more sense. Uh, you don't get a higher army capacity, but you get access to their army faster, immediately, and which grants you more dread faster, which is the best snowball. So you basically get to uh, two out of one. You can get a new army, but you get a legend lord, and the beast of legend lord is a little strong. So you lose the army, get dick, yeah, so just don't lose the army. Kinda hard to lose anything with Beastman, because you get to look at this vision. You see everybody coming. And if somebody's just gonna smack you, you just hide. Or get go away. But you're usually the one bullying everybody else. I mean, what the fuck can uh, they do if you see them coming? The AI main strength is Fog of War. If they don't have Fog of War... They can't do shit to you. Of course, sometimes you can see them focusing on you. Player focuses the other thing. And they send like three armies. And nothing you can do if you are behind. But uh, unlikely that happens. All this campaign, uh, this campaign is not planned to finish Calidius. Only the, I think the two that get the most turns in. After uh, after some point, I come fucking down. Go get more likes. It. I'll use my spells. So look at this. He just settled this. Full strength garrison and no oh, damage. So that was a good change they did with uh, uh, with the recolonization. The Ghoul King. You basically switch a new faction to man, yeah, pretty much for this one. Because I, 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 I thought that uh, just playing one faction in Warhammer 3 would not be enough for a sellout. I mean, it uh, didn't look that good with the last sellout campaign, if you ask me. I think I want to hide here. They might just get uh, in our way. I mean, this is a crazy extra movement, though. Those guys will not come to us if they seem uh, this coming. Yeah, uh, you can ambush uh, with the main, uh, main stance. This is a good target right now. This is the next target. I'll get more dread. Any plans for a total war campaign yet? I mean, like this total war style campaign? Uh, no. No plans right now. <clears throat> I mean, look at this shit here. When you ambush them, for 45 seconds, the enemy army gets minus 8 attack and 10 leadership. 
And Malagor has big leadership panels already. That's, uh, that's a little bit pushing it, really. I don't think those Gulking guys are in range, but I might underestimate their movement. Yeah, they're slowly getting there. Sunken Kernach. Ah, oh, that's uh, this place here. Unhappy populace there. We're not affected by control. Ideally, we would like to do battles all the time in this uh, uh, blood ground, but uh, you know, it's sometimes they just get away from us, and uh, the movement might be rough in the blood ground. The Ghoul King. Well, the beastmen have uh, taken over. They use race dead. Whatever two factions have the most turns in uh, will be the ones that are uh, going to be planned to finish. Above this? I don't remember the second effect. This is uh, this they added this one. That's a it's like just a stacked event, man. That's a lot. No matter how far, we get movement and we get this with returns. This movement uh, will not work this turn, though. It works from the next turn. Because the uh, the moment refreshes at the very start of the turn, events happen after, so it doesn't work for this turn. I got a lot of uh, creep horrors. This is, uh, that is, the units are actually very good uh, in Warhammer 3. I feel for my dwarven brothers. Let's head up north and see how the High King is doing. Thorgrim, please. Peepo happy. High King, uh huh. Okay, got it. <laughs> Poor Thorgrim is still on turn one. How did your LGS Manager Games go? Uh, on the last uh, stun tournament I had 3 wins, 1 loss. And the loss I had was uh, I just couldn't get lands. I'm mulligan to 4 cards and still no lands. I had uh, the first match 7 turns in a row with no land. And I was I nearly won as well. Did you win prizes? No, I was third. I was third, so no prizes. Fellow Dewey, a great wrong has befallen our kin by Urk things. The Damas Kron is filled with their vile atrocities and acts, and the debt stands with them. So, my kin, take up your axes 
Show these orcs and grow me. The might. I'm gonna go with uh, attack against Grinskin Skaven. For they come. Feel the most coziest of all the factions. I don't know, maybe I'm just biased. Our whole army gets additional for attack. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're fighting green skins. I think green but we don't have additional attack. What the hell? That that thing that skill said for attack uh for the whole army we're fighting green seas, right? It doesn't work. For the high king! Kill her! That skill is bug doesn't work more hammer three god damn Nobody told me This guy's gonna get smacked with that uh, penalty It gives leadership and attack against greenskin skaven Uh, it doesn't work on the interface, but who knows? It might work. Uh, 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 might work. Yeah, there's a bug uh, there as well. Just as shown the skill tree. I mean, uh, that shit works in Warhammer 2, man. Like, what the hell? Uh, Grinsing AI is no why it's bugged. It's been bugged for uh, for a year. A lot of factions have no abilities because, you know, they're all broken in Warhammer 3. Can you believe it? How many people don't even know this? Uh, and they're giving positive. Uh, I mean, they're hyping this shit like it's the best game ever. Oh my god. So we picked a skill that's supposed to boost attack against Greensing and Skaven, and it works when fighting against Caravan. What the fuck are they doing? What the fuck are they doing, man?
That skill has uh, been nice flavor skill that actually helped the dwarf m poor melee uh, skill to, you know, get some experience early on the melee troops like dwarf warriors or higher. So this skill doesn't work, don't pick it, don't pick this skill, but this is a, otherwise a very strong skill. Especially uh, uh, if you want, uh, uh, you know, rely more on, on, on melee combat. Doesn't work, huh? I mean, it's not like the hacking has a lot of skills. Uh, it only works against caravans. To war! It is time! Yes! No grudge for this, huh? No missions or nothing. There's literally bugs in this game that got discovered in the first week of Warhammer 3. First week. You know when this was? Over a year. Over a year. Because, you know, look at, look at the Dwarf Warriors, they got 22 melee attack. The damage is okay. But without that 5 uh, extra from that, it's like... I guess it works in my head. And yeah, that's an easy fix, uh, Ragnar. You just need to replace Caravan with Greenskin Skaven. Those fixes are the easiest. It works against ogres too. Ogres too. Damn, it's not gonna work against ogres. Melee attack when fighting against Greens and scale and leadership against ogres. This is some serious half assing, man. Let's get a tanky battle line here. But this guy's a little bit better uh, here. We need to target Crooked Moon for uh, for the uh, the thingy, the uh, Runo Spite. <laughs> it's a way long reload time. This is uh, uh, crazy in these days in the early game. It is time. Honor to your ancestors. Sure enough, who calls? Calls. See, they're only at war with beastmen. Interesting. Welcome, oldest friends of the Empire. Fine. Join the war against beastmen so we get better relations here. Although it's not very stable. What the chances the beastmen come to us? Send me to vengeance.
That's a no-brainer. We immediately pay for him, I think. We do. Lord of Clan Morgrim. Armed and ready. It's as good as done. Yeah. Oh my god. Have you seen that shit? Holy shit. What the hell? They haven't moved. But they don't see the hammers in my army. My anger burns can I call a switch? Uh, you can. Have uh, three more. Throw bearers. Let's march. Grand Pepe. Okay. Wipe out the trespasses. Uh, two more. By the way, uh, a while as I had a baby, but catching some streams again, how's Hogwarts? Uh, was pretty good for what I played so far. Nice, chilly game, uh, do a lot of st has a lot of stuff to do. Okay, we had that battle against Lanesh, and uh, here we are. We need to take uh, Ishmus of Lastria. I mean, uh, this is... I, I think this is interesting. Jumping from a campaign to campaign, keep track of everything at the same time. It feels like a... Uh, overload. Overload of, like... Or some people would, would say, like, the best stuff. Then we'll take the border here. I don't know why our troops are s the veil is so shit. I mean, uh, they can't even kill temple guards. I mean, their troops are so shit, this is not even fair having these three against me. I think a cooldown on this should be lowered or a way to lower it. A seven uses after all. Sword 
It's kind of cool summoning with a vacation crystal. That's my Dave. Them a bit here. So that mark. It's a pretty cool unit, but uh, they don't really work when they're outnumbered. Is gonna break by the arm. Look at the damage taken here. Over 3,000 damage, but no casualties. It was nice to see. Have uh, gotten everybody back, but uh, we have a plan from here as well. Trying to figure out what this uh, Grand Pepe face is with its mouth open like that and the eyes burning. I mean, this guy is supposed to be terrifying, like. terrifying. But this is so memey. Right of Sotek is uh, unlocked. Got, uh, what, 30% cheaper rights with this faction. Instead of paying 12,000 for the right of bankruptcy, we pay 8,400. I think this right is, is good. This, uh, this can definitely be okay sometimes. Well, this was, like, just straightforward. Oh, this is still a horrible ride. This one needs to be reworked. What? We are at war with the Keepers of Bliss and Skeggy, so we have to be staying this part of the map. Skeggy control the Ish Ishmus Coast. Mm, at this stage, we could get somebody for emergencies, preferably a Croxigore Ancient. High base stats. Zauros Old Blood has a uh, better skill for long campaign. And a. Uh, and, uh, uh, Carnosaur is better than a Croxigore Ancient. But on a, like, at the very base rank, these guys are better. This guy is just better later on.
It's a shame this is such a cool, uh, uh, cool, uh, lord. See, it was a little bit better. I just can't really, can't even compare to, uh, Sauros Old Blood in the long term. So this is what's wrong with this lord, this this skill tree here. Holy shit it is so bad. So bad. Like this area just so sad. So sad. Some some lazy fixes that can uh, just make it be better instantly, but god damn, it's so bad. It's a little bit less worse because of the rank 50, but it's so bad. When your opening is minus corruption. You'll be wait for this. This is a tier three now, mom. I like that this thing is on tier two. Uh, if we go with Saurus, we do need some options. I don't build this building out of principle. All the horn ones are very good unit. This is this this is uh what's wrong with most of the chaos in this game. Separate building that you needs to be built to get uh, some stuff going. And look at this, this is a one just one tier three building, but has tier two units and tier three unit. They don't give a shit. Three slots, ah, huh? this is a glorious city. Our wizard kind of sucks for damage, so we could consider Fire Lich Bolas. I, one thing I dislike about this, uh, you get this building, and then you get an event for the blessed Fire Lich Bolas, and then you f it feels so bad. But this is a this is a great building. This is a great building. This is horrible. This is great. Cause you know some of those tanky guys they need some uh, support like this. So this two still probably the worst thing about the lizard. These two buildings. We do need more growth. What is this building here? I mean, it does provide garrison. It's acceptable because the garrison. Ah, uh, this is uh, the worst building of the Lisbon. I don't even think about building this. Uh, I, I, I didn't even think about uh, this for this chance to throw a campaign out. No, no, I, I just play them. Just play them like it's the campaign. I didn't, I didn't even think about that. You'll have shenanigans with switches, right? I don't know, we just play every, every faction uh, we have, like uh, our life depends on it. There's no punishing of the Sabotage campaigns, no. No. 
It's hard to not pick money, but uh, this settlement is high value in the tier 3. Everything turns to two population for this, so it's not really worth it uh, waiting for this. We need more growth. Got more grinders here. Uh, the spears are less relevant at this stage of the game. Unless the enemies have like, some starting units. The only downside of these Saurus units at this stage is like they they cost a lot, quite a, you know, to like you have ten of the, the armies is seven and a half thousand. Since they are not shielded, we can get some skinks as well. We have to clear Skaggy for sure. But uh, the Mako Picks and the Slanesh are the pro top priority. Look at this, we finished turn one on this faction as well. Ogres here, huh? should prioritize these guys. Kairos calls, unleash the chicken. Leashed chicken, okay. I have to tell you guys, today has been amazing. Not only we played so many uh, lords in the same day, but I, I got paid a shit ton of money as well at the same time. So much money I don't have to really worry about next month. Trog is already uh, in progress uh, for Twisted Chains. Norsk got buffed quite a bit uh, from the looks of it. They made them uh, uh, have regular settlements. So the question is, do I get more alcohol or do I go to sleep? And you didn't even have to sell the pictures of your feet. Oh man. I feel like it's easier to sell picture your feet than uh, do uh, uh, numerous of these special campaigns, uh, really. Sometimes some of these campaigns, you know, I'm not really that fond of and they cause a little bit, I don't know. I guess discomfort is the only word I could explain it because playing a legend after all. Even if in Warhammer 3 it's still legendary. Am I not allowed for Doomsday and Exalting Horus with Kairos? No, that's actually a good, uh, good thing uh, uh, for Twitch Chance. I am still uh, trying to find a way with this faction. I'm actually bought uh, sell bottles of uh, scotch uh, in Gardner, just some cheap scotch. Of the destiny still one more turn on these guys. What brand? Uh, 
I don't know uh, what brand is. Uh, hold on, I have two empty bottles here. Surprisingly good for a cheap scotch, it's uh, Embassy Club. It says above it, finest reserve, 8 euro bottle. Blended scotch whiskey. Product of Scotland. I think uh, as, a, as for a cheap whiskey is one of the better ones I had. It's 8 euros for uh, 0.7 uh, uh, liters. It's uh, it's easy to drink and uh, so far no side effects on the on the day day uh, on the next day. There's a lot of great alcohol under like uh, 15 euros, but the key is to get uh, two for the price of one, and still be good enough. Because the goal is not really, I don't know, to enjoy it. I think the goal is to get drunk. So you can enjoy that boss. I know all fates. I mean, after a couple of drinks, uh, it doesn't matter if it's like a 10 euro or 40 euro or 80 Never euros, right? Drink for the alcohol content. The most important thing with these guys is to get the, the wood going. Wood going so we can use big spells. And this is very strange starting with this guy. And he does have access to uh, the other, all the characters. I, I guess you still need movement. We all corrupted from within. <sighs> I serve the changer. I herald. The changer. Come so what are currently going? Uh, we got uh, Hexoatl, Karzakara, Harbjim, Bizaza, Parasatos, Hamindrud, Orcs of Zinch, Clan Rictus, Carnival of Blood, Blue Roses, the Fecundized Hells of Aeron, Armor Expedition. So we got like, what, 11 campaigns? The one that got the, the play the most so far, Clan Rictus and uh, Harbjim, Disaster. This feels like a cut up area just uh, uh, from a different angle. Uh, currently, Merconos, uh, we're at two, uh, 2090. So, for day one, that's insane. But you can expect, uh, what, another four? This is uh, another 11 days for this available, so. I think 6k are looking good so far. But there's over 2k on the first day and the special is not even available. It's uh, pretty crazy. If we get to SFO, that's probably gonna be a dwarf campaign in SFO. I don't know what else to play. Dwarf or Beastman? I only played Beastman in SFO uh, in the Warhammer 1. Played Chaos in Warhammer 2. We haven't played SFO in Warhammer 3 yet. Did Gorse start? Yes, Gorse is in progress. Gorse is in progress, uh, got immediately switched. Master. Yeah. 
This guy, these guys have like a, a really pushover enemies here. Maybe Slanesh guys cause a little more trouble because if those guys get in the melee, these guys melt. I foresee. Maybe we ignore the guys on the right. Attack. What do we even do with this uh, grimoires? This is the capital. So we could transfer this one. I guess to mess with them, huh? There's a corruption here, but it's going down. There's a ratio of corruption and influence the cost. These guys will, will have a little bit of advantage of us if they have other archers. First dice at tier 4. I'm good against uh, the archer armies. The guy's a little bit better against archers, but uh, the archers still archers. This thing is good against archers, tier 3 though. Second also good against archers. 85 armor. Chosen of Zinch. I have obliterated you. Hmm? There's no skills for chosen. What the fuck are they doing? And every faction is like six. This faction is five and no skill for chosen. Chaos Warriors get a skill but not chosen? What the f- what the hell? Guys There's three Campaign skills, three battle skills for leadership, three on veteran ones. And the veteran units only have like 7 plus leadership. Three veteran battle skills for leadership. That's only a fuck up to start with. And no battle skill for chosen. And three veteran battle skills provide leadership. Veteran units don't need leadership. Fucked up, man. I foresee.
I estimate there's probably between like 200 to 500 things that still need uh, changing. Improving, polishing, fixing. Two to five hundred things. Not in bed anymore, by the way. Uh, use a little bit terrain here. Was it like a invisible f uh, this is, uh, terrain here? They're sending dogs uh, towards our knights. They really, uh, they really uh, want to get here, huh? I can think a lot there. I have to move everybody. Nice can easily take half the half their uh, uh, health casualties. Only not right now we're just losing more casualties. You can say Kairos to pin some units on the ground, but I think we should always be in a, in a position where you can cast spells. Do need the Shield of Suffer, a uh, Shield of uh, Fires of Change, you can Shield of Suffer the same shit. You don't lose more than half the Knights in one battle. We'll, uh, we could definitely use a couple more armored units. The knight seems to be doing just fine. I think this spell should do like at least double the damage. Oh. Feels so bad you have to just spam it to get effects. I could do the, these things when uh, you upgrade uh, spells like three or four skill points, so they actually do a damage instead of the cast so many times to do any 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 damage. Six nine numbers all feel like finely tuned esports shit.
looks stupid when you have to cast something ten times to to kill some something. This is what I don't like about this magic. Ah, this is balanced on mold, but not on density. If they had idea what they were doing, they would have put uh, more skill points on the spells, which would increase uh, the actual damage in these things. I mean, look at this number 16, 70, 14, then percentages on that. It's clear what this, this is balanced uh, for multiplayer. If, if this shit was doubled, it would still look pretty embarrassing for a single spellcaster. Just talking about any spellcaster here. This is uh, this is supposed to be something special here, right? Zinch and Kairos. Also some some random guy. We've already seen random shit with fireballs for years. This is, shit is not complicated. This is not complicated. Uh, like I'll let me show you what uh, what uh, they can do. They can literally. If they don't want to disturb their precious balance in multiplayer, you see these points in, in spells here, like 1, 2. You see this 1, 2. This guy is having uh, 3. I'm gonna just put more points here. And as you put more points, you make the spell more devastating. Heck, increase the cost of it, I don't give a shit. So there should be more options. Uh, like, the overcast doesn't feel like overcast anymore. It feels like it's all been butchered by multiplayer. Orkai should have uh, like mega damage and mega downside. But that that's finely tuned multiplayer over the years has killed Orcasts. Orcasts are supposed to be something. It should be dangerous to the caster and it should be even more dangerous to whoever is getting targeted. But this has, has been the case like ever. And it's been finely tuned to be next to nothing. It's just literally more click for a little bit more damage and uh, just double it for double cost with little nothing uh, be gained on most abilities. So if they just worried about this shit, just put more skill points here, get more, more damage, more dangerous overcasts. This shit is becoming embarrassing when you just have to cast seven times to have any any damage. You think I need to cast these things seven times, uh, these things seven times to actually kill somebody as a legendary lord? It just looks stupid. <laughs> 